another beautiful day on the internet. Uh, oh! oh! I thought you were gonna do like the Savanya, the that, that yeah. song here. Yeah. I mean, that was more like the "It's Wednesday, my dude" sound, which would be applicable for today. It's Wednesday, my um, dude. For everyone here, you know. Uh, Thursday. You know what? Fine. I mean, he's kind of outnumbered, but that's okay. No, you brought it up, Not so long. it's fine. No, you, will need to talk about it. you will inevitably join me on an in Thursday. <laughs> and then you'll rush <laughs> off to a Friday and like, hey, wait. Wait, wait, I thought we were doing this always, together. Always, stop, always, stop. Always one step ahead. <laughs> you know what, that's what the, the bunny said, and then he fucked up. I'm so many oh. steps ahead, at any given point, it is indistinguishable from acting completely randomly. Hmm. Yes. Which is kind of like a superpower. Random man. Where will he go next? Random man writes for Marvel. I feel like even he would be more coherent. Man, what happened? Marvel? Random man. <laughs> Random man. <laughs> just, just in it's general. It's fall from grace. Yeah. Random man's fall from grace. Even, even he couldn't uh, stand up, and and and. I, I, my brain is not Even he yet. left the production because he was insulted by the random nature of the script. Yeah, he's like, alright, come on. Not this random. <laughs> yeah, he's supposed to be a format to the randomness, not just... Just a random. To the, to the madness, one If you can't say. identify that I'm random, man, then that's no fun. So anyway, we're here to catch up on Streamlabs, and then we're going to jump into the uh, good old-fashioned episode of Last Saturday, and then, mm -hmm. if we have the time, we will do the uh, catch-up ones from last week. It was last Wednesday. So, plenty Sorry. of fun to be had. Um, I hate fun. Starting with, greetings, Longman. I wanted to address one of your comments from the Endgame EFAB three years ago. Speaking of that... EFAB, by the way. I thought it was funny that, um, I wanted, uh, I saw a comment on one of, uh, one of the comments on Fringy's video saying, like, um, uh, finally, like, someone in the EFAB who has criticized this film, or something like that. What? I was like, <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, about uh, time. We did it, like, the day it came out. And we gave it, yeah, I'm pretty did. sure, a three for consistency, which has <laughs> since <laughs> dropped. It has dropped, but, yeah, we, we it, it didn't take long, really to identify all the problems with that film. I mean, I think from the outset, we knew the time travel was bad. Oh, uh, yeah. Did it take some time to figure that out, and exactly <laughs> how and, and where? Uh, it can be daytime in America and Africa at the same time if we assume that the snap happened around 6 p.m. in Wakanda and 10 a.m. in Iowa. Um, I think the point I was making was that the sun was setting in America. If the sun is setting on the east coast of the United States, I'm pretty sure that, like, I'm pretty sure that doesn't make any sense at all for it to also be rising in, like, continental, you know, in the middle of Africa. Logistically. Um, yeah, I, I would have to check all the references know. again. Maybe maybe it's summer? Like, I don't know. I, I was just saying, it's kind of funny. Wait, no, sorry, hold on. Because if the sun is setting... Um, the, for the sun to be rising, I'm pretty sure it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure that's why I put it in the script, but I, I, I couldn't tell you how my brain isn't working. We gave it a five with a ton of caveats, really? Did we give it a five? That's... We might I think, have. I think everyone uh, had their own different scores for it. But I don't um, think we rated it that high, did we? I just, I, yeah, I, uh, I might have. I, I just don't remember doing that. <laughs> like, uh, but it could have happened. The, but to be fair, we would have caught quite a few of the... I remember the Nebula stuff really pissed me off in my first time around. Yeah, as it should. Um, what the fuck, I just finished part one, now we got part two? No, no, this is catch-up. Part two will be Saturday. Yep. Part two will be Saturday. Our, our lives will become a horrific horror <laughs> story. Yeah. Of discussing the multiverse of madness Ooh. forever. We will dedicate ourselves to explaining every problem with the plot and characters in that movie. 
EFAP is officially disbanded. Mm. Thanks, Doctor Strange. Yeah, thanks a lot, Marvel. Banana fact of the day, did you know that the number of letters in banana is the exact same as the number of letters in Fringy? I guess that makes sense. You always think banana is a longer word than it is. Hmm. It's only six letters, which it feels like it isn't. It's longer than that, but it's not. Uh, cool fact. I guess I've never thought of it that way. Because Fringy does feel like a shorter word than banana. Maybe it's the syllables. Hmm. People always think that rags is a four-letter word. Well, and they'd be correct. Yeah, they would. Hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Serious question for Fringy. If I threw bird seed on the ground in front of you, would you stop pecking at it? <laughs> no. Totally. Why would I do that? Because bird seed's delicious, if you're a bird. <laughs> for the rest of people, it's not. It's. I guess it's alright. Yeah, I, I've never tried people. it. Interesting that you would say it like that. Well, that's all all, all people. There's them and then there's the rest of us. You said the rest of people, which rest would people. imply that I am a person in your mind. No. Because otherwise you would have said people, <laughs> not the rest of people, to imply oh, that I am a person. The, the, the better the counter of that would have been, of course, a, a sentient bird. I think that would be a person. Yeah, but you failed. You went you a different direction. <laughs> uh, Wanda did nothing wrong? Let me guess. It's not her fault that she brainwashed and tortured 1,200 people. It's all Haywood's fault, and the fans are sexist, misogynist for wanting Wanda to answer for her crimes of kidnapping and potential starving. Um, oh, listen, WandaVision could have brought it home depending on how it ended, and instead it had the main, one of the main characters declare that she'd sacrifice so much in order to get the people of Westview what they have now, and they'll never understand that. And that, that was uh, where they fucked up. One of the worst lines in the MCU, yeah. like legitimately one of the worst. Um, but I mean, hey, it was nice of them to kind of just double down. Yeah, we got plenty <laughs> more terrible lines in Doctor Strange, so. Woohoo! Wow. I, I do love watching shows where people talk past each other, and I oh, meant yeah. to accept that as them having a conversation. <laughs> um, speaking of evil characters that people unironically believe did nothing wrong, I'm sure if you guys might... Oh, I'm not sure if you guys will like Berserk. It's really edgy in the beginning, but halfway through there's an arc that explains what happened to the main character and main antagonist. Alright. Uh... Ringy, what we're supposed to take away from WandaVision is that Wanda is justified in enslaving 1,200 people because she saw Vision getting dismantled by government agents. Because he's government property. Then they ended it with saying dumb cunt. I'm not sure if that's meant... <laughs> Maybe um, it's sarcastic. I, I mean... Know. Uh... I don't... I don't... My best faith reading of the show would be that like oh she didn't really know what she was doing and she did the right thing in the end and i mean hey this film that's their explicit mm -hmm. sort of line to never have to talk about wandavision ever again because we don't really reference our old stuff meaningfully anymore <laughs> uh did you guys also grab amnesia rebirth successor to soma and the game with a metacritic score of 80 on the <laughs> epic game store for free when it was available i can't wait to see what years of passion oh, have led frictional games to craft their magnum opus I forgot mm. that the Epic Game Store existed. Yeah, me too. And apparently it's free um, on there. Also, nice. it's yeah, too much. Rebirth, it's a bit too much, yeah. About it. It's really, really bad. I mentioned before, but I have an extra copy of Amnesia Rebirth. If I had an extra I copy of Amnesia Rebirth, computer. I would destroy it. I need Digital. Two. What do you do with it? <laughs> yeah. I don't no know. answer. Howard. Punch is it, is, if, it's, <laughs> wait, if it's digital? <laughs> mm hmm. I would destroy it. <laughs> okay. I have to find the, uh, uh, not uh, the humble bundle servers and destroy them. <laughs> I would create a computer virus that spreads to all computers, and if it detects those files, it will <laughs> delete them. It will rearrange and scramble all of the code forever. Nice. Wow. Rags, quick, this is an emergency. I need you to rush over here and plant that curvaceous rump on my lap and wriggle those hips back and forth, side to side. Molar, I need you to critique our collective efforts, and Fringy, I need you to take notes. 
<laughs> nah. Well, I mean, if Fringy's not well, going to do it, then I don't think anyone else is. Well, uh, yeah. Fringy ruined this for all of us. Don't play Marikot. It's the truth. Yep. Hey there, Molar and crew. Starting in August 2020, when EFAP 100 aired, I began watching a podcast from number one. I thank all of you for the hours and hours of joy. Oh, Well, that's nice. Glad you enjoyed them. On to the next 1,000 episodes of EFAP. I know, right? We'll get there. <laughs> the next 1,000. We'll they say the first 1,000 are the hardest. And do we believe them? Yeah. Alright. Since EW is cancelled, if you guys need another funny bad show to watch, please do Supergirl. I think it looks even worse because they have to account for her powers and she has more effects. Also, if you think the social commentary in uh, Batwoman, not Black Widow, Bat Batwoman is bad, uh, wait until you see Supergirl. I've seen the supercuts. It's funny. I've, yeah, I've seen um, all the compilations of yeah. the very, the, the super... The very woke, subtle uh, political commentary. Very subtle, yeah. I, I love how subtle it is that it's like, man, I'm watching this show and it feels so organic. It totally doesn't feel like the writer is telling me what they think about the world. Telling me what to think That's what think true storytelling is. Good. It's just... I don't know, man. Fake like, storytelling. It's just like, when you're like auditing your own work, you know, you're going through it, you're just looking through it. Do you ever just sit there and go like, man, is this too on the nose? No, 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 nah, not enough. Nah. It's, not, it's not, it's, no, it's not on the nose, it's on the cheek. It needs to get on that nose even more so. Oh. If it's not on the nose, then some simpletons might not know what I'm trying to say. Uh, Which means the whole point of the show is worthless if I can't give failed. them a message. I, ha I have failed if even one person misunderstands my genius. If only one, if there's only a 1% chance that people don't understand my message, we have to take it as an absolute certainty. I feel oh. like it's kind of the nature of creating something great that just by virtue of the way, that, like, it, it almost oh, feels like oh, you're, you're just going to have somebody who doesn't understand it and that you just got to be okay with that. The temperature of the day is 2 billion degrees Kelvin. Nice, that's uh, really hot. Hmm. I, yeah, what, so I, I wonder hard. what out there is two billion degrees. Is that like the sun? I, I no. I, I isn't the sun like a million degrees at the core? I don't know. I think the sun is like a million. I uh, two billion. I, I'm not actually sure. It was was at the beginning of the universe? Was it two billion Kelvin? Like you know, right at the very very like millisecond that it started? Maybe. Or maybe, yeah, I, 2 billion Kelvin, hmm. That's, uh, it could be someone's stripper name, 2 billion Kelvin, and everyone's like, wow, <laughs> they're, they're hot, and that's why they called themselves 2 billion Kelvin. Though I will say, Kelvin, not really a, not really a, a an attractive word, not like a sexy word, I don't think. Um. I mean, it's close to Calvin, right? And Calvin Klein is like, that's kind of stylish. Two billion Kelvin, two billion Calvin? Two billion Calvin, yeah. <laughs> that's the, that's their, their summer wear brand. Exactly. It's just, mm -hmm. I don't know, petrol or something. <laughs> like, two well, billion that would be, Calvin. That would be two billion Calvin. That would be, yeah. Two billion Calvin. I like that. Uh, the binary value of the day is zero. I guess it could only ever be zero or one, but it's nice to know that it's zero today. Tomorrow, I I don't know what it'll be tomorrow. Could be zero, could be one. Could be more. You never know. Switch them between them and was... uh, Bella, so why not? This super chat could oh. be the beginning of a really, really long message that is given to us piece by piece over a series of many, many months to spell out maybe a word or coordinates to a, a, a treasure, perhaps. Who knows? Man, like, you... It feels like you just watched Interstellar with everything you just said. Like, a I message did. that's sent through and gives What's us wrong? coordinates. Do you remember how the film begins? <laughs> like, Why was Matthew you, McConaughey able to breathe in a black hole? 
um, because the future humans from the fifth dimension would have facilitated that. Well, yeah, and plus it's pretty clear that in a black hole, the gravity is so strong, not even oxygen could escape. So there you go. There's your soul in there. Yeah. Well, it's, 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 um, it's just one of those things that people forget to account for in science fiction, bad science fiction stories. You can't it's breathe like, in a black hole. <laughs> oh, just, just oxygen. You know, humans need that. It needs to be a nice balmy 20 degrees Celsius or somewhere thereabouts. If it's like but, way lower know, most... than 2 billion Kelvin. Well, most I, of the universe, most of like the universe is really cold. Um, I was looking yeah. at something in Infinity War out of curiosity, and it always like it bugs me, but it's like I guess you can head cannon. But when Iron Man first gets onto the spaceship, he blows a hole in it with his laser, climbs in, mm -hmm. and then it's like call from his parts, it activates it, yeah. and then takes his helmet off, and it's yeah. like I didn't see you seal that hole, bitch. <laughs> like, <laughs> That's a good point. but I guess the movie is just that. like no, he did. Just, Breathing fine. that room should depressurize. Well, he, well it does I mean, when he well, opens well, it. Later in yeah. the film, later in the film when he mm -hmm. blows uh, what's his name out, and then he actually seals it up. As yeah. It so, and I wonder if maybe the film is like he did that. Okay, shut up. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah. maybe, maybe as someone's pointed out in chat, nano machine son. Well, yeah, it's all nano machine for him, isn't it? Well, I'm just saying, maybe there's nano machines in the uh, in the ship that are like, oh no, a breach. Except for when they didn't show up later in the film, so I guess not. Maybe there are nano machines in the nano machines because nano machines are made up of even smaller Grey goo. nano machines. Grey goo. Grey goo, indeed. Not like green goo. It's not not nice grey goo by comparison. Well, presumably, it's about who programs it, right? Um, I'm not sure that I like the idea of the planet just being grey goo, but I don't know. I guess I could be convinced if they were like, oh, I like look my at all planet these it's two billion attributes of their goo. Um, hey, Metal. Hello. Guess what? 37. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> right. That's Rude. Number. Yeah, that's era 37. Remember, remember, oh, that was so 10 years ago. That's, that's that was probably ago. like one of the bigger bumps that Boogie got, wasn't it? Yeah, I remember. Error 37. 37. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, for the Diablo. And I, yeah, that was 10 years ago, guys. Like, actually 10 years ago. That was like May tw 2012. I'm. Max they, they are changing. And now Diablo 4 is like nowhere to be found, right? It's still several years away. <laughs> And also, just Blizzard's reference. Have you guys seen the the video that went around? It's like Overwatch 2's lighting, you know, updated lighting. It's like it's just it's like... different times of day. Yeah. <laughs> Same maps, but it's different time of day. Uh, nice. It's interesting uh, how the EFAPs are all clearly non-human with images that reflect this. Fringy the frog bird, Mauler the tentacle long monster, Rags the dog, and Metal Commander the German. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting, right? We have a variety of aesthetics mm -hmm. that represent oh, yeah. our true personage. Further to my super chat last week about the edginess of the Raven Guard in 40k, I neglected to add that their chapter master is called Avon Shrike. Or Shike. Shrike? Yeah, Shrike. Master of Shadows. Oh, nice. <laughs> Good for Kayvon him. Avon Shrike. Master of Shadows. Well, it couldn't have been Dave, could it? That wouldn't have worked. It was Dave, but he was ashamed of that name. When he turned 14 years old, Embrace. he said, I'm changing my name to Kayvon Shrike. Could have embraced Master being of Dave. Shadows. Well, Dave, well, Master of Shadows. What do you remember about the Turing test? Liked it? Worth it? Also, High Fro of Fringolian. Um, hey. It was a fun game from what I remember, but it's not particularly deep or anything. It's, um, it's kind of like a... A little fun little sci-fi mini story. Uh, I remember liking it though. I kind of want to replay it now just to see what it was. My memory is very faded. Bringy, it's been a while since that one chat member said you were wrong. How's your life been since then? Do you feel you've fully reflected on your mistake and moved on? I, uh, yeah, I, I, that's what I mean. I can't even remember when I was last told I was wrong. Like, it's been so long. I've just been trucking on, keeping on. I predict that someone know. will say that in chat very soon. Let's see if I am a psychic. Any second now. 
Yeah, there you go. Ah, there <laughs> I'm a genius. Genius. Uh, Fringy, say the following in your best Zod impression. I will goo him. I will goo him. That's what they want. <laughs> um, I, I, I will yeah. goo him, Lar. <laughs> I, I, I will goo him. Uh, not goo him, goo him. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let, 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 let me try it again. I, I, Three letters. I will... <laughs> it's such... It's funny that... I'm just trying to capture the... I need to even stop playing Mario Kart to get to oh, character. Oh, of course, yeah. Ooh, yeah. wow. <laughs> <clears throat> my, my throat is actually... Uh, yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> I will kill him! Oh, God. <laughs> that, wow. Oh, my goodness. Not what I expected. Well, he does. That line is so voice. funny. And <laughs> it's, it's such a commentary on humanity that a lot of us... And by extension, the community surrounding it all find it fucking hilarious. Love sight in it. It's great. And then the penis pods right after. It's mwah, beautiful. <laughs> Excellent no comedy. On the cake. Like top notch that someone made all of that with the intention to be epic and cool and intimidating. <laughs> Meanwhile, there are like thousands, hundreds of thousands of people who find that line not only intimidating, but some of the best performances you can find in the DCEU. He's coming That's back similar. for, uh, he he's coming back for, um, he will thing. find him. <laughs> Except this time he will. Yeah. He, According he, if the leaks are to be if believed. If the leaks are to be believed. Which, why the fuck would we believe leaks at this point? Like... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> I remember when he first told me the leaks for Doc Strange, Multiverse of Madness, I was just like, why the fuck would they make that movie? And then, like, and then it was exactly what we got. Yeah. It's like, pretty much 90% accurate. It sounded... Because when you explain it in, in just... As, as it happens in brass tacks, it's just like no one wants that. Why would anyone do that? But then it makes lots of money. Yeah. Yeah, and then it makes shit tons of money. It no matter what, that, people that, that, film's, shit. that film's reputation, I think, will diminish over time. Well, um, in lots of discussions I've been seeing in between our EFAPs on it, uh, Sam Raimi's name is used to defend so much of that film. One, I would like to inform. The cast here about as well as the chat is uh yeah, is the criticism me. came up that reed richards captain carter captain marvel professor x and fucking who's the who am i missing black black Bolt, Bolt. Bolt. uh they're all fucking stupid and they make really bad choices and a lot of the logic of the illuminati about everything is really really bad this person was presented with this argument and their response was are you like did you not understand that this is a dumb universe? This is dumb people from a dumber universe. What? I did not know that, actually. In they, fact, they genuinely believe the that everybody in the Illuminati universe is just a dumb person, and that's what the film was trying to say. <laughs> I, I, now, I had no clue. It is interesting that you would have that perspective when, if anything, given that the world is presented as, like, very futuristic, to, mm -hmm. to so much so that, like, plants are integrated into the buildings, and food is like, free. And wow, well, yeah. Right. Which, <laughs> to be fair, free. that is dumb. If, if food is just like randomly um, free for no reason. But but I mean, if anything, this is meant to be a more technologically advanced version of Earth. If anything, um, and someone, plus... asked, someone asked. from talking about Gary. So Gary's not a fan of this film. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's, I don't think he'd be defending the Illuminati of all fucking things. He uh, <laughs> no, no. It's it's. He doesn't like. That. It's nobody you know. Um, that said it, but I, I caught it um, in a thread, and I was uh, I was surprised. I guess I shouldn't be I at this point. I can why. Um, and yeah, uh, he's um, Gary said as well. He's a big fan of Raimi and his work, and and this is that's not stopping him from finding this to be a piece of shit. Meanwhile, for a lot of people, anything that doesn't make sense, a lot of them are doing the whole like, yeah, well, it's Raimi. It's not supposed to make sense. Like, okay, I. Especially oh. the Illuminati defense, I'd love that to be said in front of the writers. To see what their face is. It's like, these writers tried to make these characters fucking stupid. And that's the, writers the point, be like, is that you made them uh, really stupid, right? That's what, that's what you're trying to do, right? Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, they, th this person you've highlighted, they might be, they might 
be correct about how everyone in this universe is stupid, because as it turns out, everyone in every universe is apparently also extremely stupid. Yeah, it's a new rule that this movie set. It's like everybody yes. got hit with everyone's the stupid Everyone's an gun. idiot. Yeah. They opened Pam even Stupid's the, box. I mean, even yeah, not paint an inch people are stupid. It's an interesting way of uh, defending a film. No, you don't understand. They're stupid. <laughs> Man. Although I should acknowledge, I just went into DK's cannon in this in this map right as a blue shell hit me, and it so it missed. Like that, that was uh, I don't think I don't even know if I've done that before. It's pretty great. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey guys, I hate myself and I hate my life. Any pro tips? Thanks. Hmm. Well, basic start is to do more things, find one that you really enjoy doing, and then do try and find a way to make that the thing that you do more. That's everyone. Yep. That's where everyone starts out, really. Mm -hmm. Um, hope you're alright. Please talk about everything, everywhere, all at once on the next medium multi medley. Uh, I absolutely loved that movie, but I wonder how well it works with you guys' standards. Maybe get someone less continuity focused, like YMS, to discuss it with. He can be pretty continuity focused. Uh, yeah. Well, watch his watch his stuff on um, After Earth and Walking Dead, like almost exclusively <laughs> about how much nothing makes sense. Um, but no, I I, I do want to see it. I haven't seen it yet. Uh, it's gotten all of the buzz. All right, everybody's been saying yeah, it's good. Heard it's good. Um. So, yeah, you know, uh, and if we if we really all really like it, and I see the potential for an episode, we can set that up. Uh, love you guys. Fringy is a. Th Th a third. A third out of a third out of trend. What? I think they want a bird and the frog maybe. Third, third. It's it's a little weird. I see. Not really, but I okay. I'll yeah. Because a bird and a what's the th? Because if that's like a portmanteau. Contracted. A third. A third. The bird, you know, and then it got a, a yeah. But what's the th in R? The third. So I thought I already counted for the th, <laughs> but I guess the R is the part that is yeah that was throwing us. Well, R is from frog, isn't it? So the, the frog bird, maybe third. The frog bird. Thr Third. Yeah, maybe. So the TH is just for yeah. the. Hmm. Uh, well, I mean, I've said that like four or five times. At least know. that's what I think. <laughs> uh, I'm convinced. Hang on, uh, Rags' gears are turning. He's getting there. No, I just, I'm. Um, I don't know what else. I, I just, <coughs> it seems there odd you go. That would be the word. What's your movie bob rating guess for The Northman and Doctor Strange 2? Uh, for well, the Northman, uh, I haven't seen it. Uh, I'm gonna guess it's low. For... Oh no, I'd guess mid to high for Movie Bob on Northman. He's, yeah. He surely knows he's not allowed to shit on that. That's like that's everybody's movie of of choice, to, like praise, because it's it's an auteur doing his thing, and it's not been successful, uh, which is a shame. But you know, I still haven't seen it. I intend to. I haven't seen it either yet. Instead, I watched Doctor Strange, yep. Multiverse of Madness. Yep. I watched both. Good right. Oh, look at you, German. Hey. Really? You offended? Yeah. A little bit. They oh. need to make a a movie called The North Man, and it's just about a Canadian <laughs> who's nice to people. Northern. Um, and as for Doctor Strange 2, I'm going to go with Seven... <laughs> Because he's not going to give a fuck about how much it doesn't make sense. Yeah, yeah I, th I think seven <laughs> sounds about right. And if I was going to err, I would go higher. But I think seven's... Yeah, I think seven's good. I'm going to go with a seven for Doctor Strange. I think I'm, I will agree with that. Banana fact of the day. Did you know that despite Fringy's persistent delusions of Australia being real, bananas remain an excellent source of potassium? Oh, that's right. They are a excellent source of potassium. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, K. Yeah. I'm just not quite clear on how the 
this part connects with the second part, but I can, yeah. I can understand both parts. <laughs> because potentially, maybe if you are laboring under the delusion that, like, the entire continent that you live in is real, or at least uh, a different incarnation as to what you're portraying it to be, you might not have a grasp on simple nutrition. Oh. I don't know. It's a bit of a stretch, but I don't know. It's not even Maybe really certain. It's not that it's a stretch. It's that they haven't provided you more information, so you're just having to sort of add in what they may have, may have meant. I'm, I'm doing some guesswork. Yeah, it is true. I'm doing so a lot of guesswork here. Yeah. Detective they, rags. I need some. I need some lines between those dots. Uh, alrighty, and that that catches us up with Streamlabs. Now to move Wait. to uh, the recent EFABs. Super Shorms. So the first one says, Oh, hi. Hey. Hi. Hi. The second one says, After WandaVision, I viewed Wanda stands as just cringe things to laugh at, but after Multiverse of Madness, they are legit terrifying. Um, they are a force to be feared. Yeah. There's no moral evil that they will not commit nor condone. It's gotten a bit weird. There's, um, there's like that SpongeBob meme that keeps going around of, like, I will stand in no matter what thing, and it's like, so oh, she's legit the uh the thing they worry about with Joker and Rick. Like Yeah. Hmm. People are gonna connect with the Joker and they're gonna want to be him. And they're so bad those white males. Meanwhile, over in Wandaville. Uh we will stand our Wanda regardless of her sins. <laughs> yeah, well that's, that's how much she loves her kids. I understand. Yeah. Yeah, all those toxic males who don't understand motherhood. Hey, Jay Longo didn't like the movie either, so there you go. Hey, if she's the whitest male I know. Wow. My friend told me about this movie. Can you confirm that Wanda sacrifices herself in the end like Hitler? Oh my god. <laughs> I think that's what they were going for. Just like Hitler. Um, if Wanda wanted kids so badly, why didn't she just get laid? I don't know. That's not empowering. Nobody even brings you up to, that argument. You have to create fake children accidentally through magic spells and then destroy multiverses in order to get to the version of them that you have selected is the one that you like the most. That's very empowering. Get with the program. So it begins. Also, hi, Rags. Hello. Today's animal of the day is the Titicaca frog. Ooh, from Lake Titicaca? I don't know where it's from, but... What, 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 uh, well, I, there's a lake what, in Mexico what? called Lake Titicaca. It is upon which uh, Tenochtitlan was uh, built on, I believe. The Aztec uh, Empire's is that, is that capital. How you pronounce it? Is that it? I'm, I'm guessing that is how you... No, the, the, the Aztec capital, because I always screw it up. What's it, How do you pronounce it? Tenochtitlan? Okay, yeah, right. I probably pronounced it different both times. It's not a word I have to say often, and it is an odd word, but... It is an interesting word. Mm -hmm. It's a very unique but, word. Uh, so I assume that uh, the, the, the Titicaca frog is from Lake Titicaca. You can't say it. You reach critical mass and you have to laugh with Titicaca. <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, Telmatobius Culius, commonly known as the T.T. Cock. <laughs> the the T.T. Cock water frog. Let me get you a picture of him. He's, he, look at him. Let me get you a picture. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let me see. I will click on our group. Oh, look at that fella. Look at that froggo. He's kind of... He, he's got a, a bit of... Let me see. He's not like a, a, a super smooth frog. He can get kind of wrinkly, I guess. Yeah. I guess so, which is interesting. Here, let me show you. Like, this side, this picture here kind of shows how he's not super like he's, he's not like a lot of other frogs he almost looks like a turtle almost. he looks a bit like a turtle yeah hmm. yeah 
You guys are gonna have to Google this yourselves because it fucks up when I show pictures while I got a <laughs> dolphin on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um. Finally, a Moon Knight stream. Nope. Nope. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. There will be a Moon Knight stream where we talk about Moon Knight. Moon Bring Knight is not good. Your video on Endgame is fucking awesome. I agree with everything you said. America did 9 11. Oh no, that's not. <laughs> oh no, Fringy, why did you say that? What does that have to do with 9 11, Fringy? It's something you made up. I, I was going to yeah, say. Yeah, it I'm... is made up. I don't remember that part of the video myself, so... Yeah, me either. Um... It, I think it was talking about how... It was in the Thanos section where even though it was wrong, we could sort of understand why they did it. I think that's where he used the America did 9-11 example. I think that's something that you just made up, Rags. <laughs> yeah, that is. Dude, that would be some footage to put in the background of all that sentence. <laughs> just 9 11 footage randomly in, in your Disney movie review. You can't just understand why they did it. <laughs> oh no. Oh, 9 11. I watched a YouTuber who watches other videos. They don't comment often, about once in five minutes, but then they talk for it about, uh, for about five plus minutes each time. Is this by your guys? Oh, I guess they mean to say, is this okay by you guys' standards? Um, I'm pretty chill on that, I think, because in spirit, uh, I'm pretty sure it's being transformed. It, it's a little complex, though, because I would need to see it. Because if the commentary is literally just them talking about things that aren't even connected to the thing. Yeah. And it's more so just because they want to make sure they're talking about something. It's just like, hmm, I don't know. It, it, it... At that point, is it comparable to just playing someone's video but stopping for commercials every once in a while? <laughs> Almost, is it maybe. Well, that's yeah. the thing, if you've got nothing to add to it to change it outside of you just going, man, you know, I'm kind of hungry, actually. I might order Domino's. Go to this site and see what I can order. Like, if that was what you were doing, it's like... No, you're just playing their video for entertainment. You're not actually doing any kind of, like, breakdown or anything. Or response. So, you know, it would depend. You'd have to see it. Because, uh, like I said, I think Hassan would have avoided the entire trouble had he played the whole thing and then not only given credit, but also been, like, just given, like, literally a minute to explain what he thought was well done about the video. And... But he just couldn't do that. No. And he couldn't handle any amount of pushback. Um, I was insta-discussing some th Marvel shows and movies and said most of the new stuff has thrown logic out the window. The response to that was, we don't need logic. Where we're going, going, we don't, don't need logic. It. You just don't know it. Oh. Uh, it's, just, it's just funny. It's like, they'll use it when it benefits them, trust me. Everybody what does, yeah. Ask them about, just tell me something good that happened in the writing, and they're gonna use logic. Always do. Uh, worst prequel overarching narrative-wise? Worst prequel overarching narrative-wise? Uh... Prequel? I, I guess they're talking about Star Wars prequels. Or different kinds yeah. of prequels. Well, they're like asking bad which of the three stories. is the worst as pertains to the overall arc. The first one, because it can basically be skipped entirely. I probably go with that answer, yeah, unless they're going for something else. Because I, the first one, yeah, is often decided by people like we could probably drop that one. It makes room for a fucking whole of the Clone Wars movie. Absolutely. Uh, just yeah, we're restructuring the prequels. Get rid of the Phantom Menace. Keep very, very little. Fr There's nothing in the Phantom Menace that you can't tell in flashback segments from. Well, I'm even happy uh, to keep Qui Gon in other movies. Move yeah, I'm fine with keeping. Yeah, do something with him. Do something with Maul. We need to just take those. We need to take those ideas, and we need to completely change them in almost every way in terms of how they're presented in the movies. They need to be doing different things, and they need to be not stupid idiots. I guess Maul's not a stupid idiot. He's just... There's not much there. But we could put something there. He really doesn't like the Jedi. 
the Fuchsia Fura. I knew one day you would talk to me about Dr. Simp. It's okay, you set things right in the end, High Rags and Mauler. Hello. We did set things right in the end, or at least we will, when we get to part seven of Multiverse Oh yeah, because that's what they say about Wander again at the end. Did the... God, you get weird vibes when yeah. they have those lines, you know? Like, what are you... Why are you saying that? Well, it's, why do you, I mean, I think it's, I think it would be, why do you feel compelled to write these lines of dialogue? Is it because you know that what she's actually done is wrong? Mm. And you have to acknowledge it? That there is a large segment of the population that recognizes that she is a terrible person who did bad things and never wow. was brought to No, justice. she's a wonderful person. Oh, wow. It was a dark old. Somebody wonderful wow. person. It was Somebody... a dark old. There's people who point it out, because there's that thing that's like, anybody, name somebody who went through more pain, I'll wait, and then someone points out, like, Peter Parker lost everything, including his own identity, and he didn't go on a killing spree. That's all the so, people yeah. in the town that she tortured. Well, just, yeah, a lot of people point well, yeah, that I assume out, too. talking about, like, so, he's got what she had happened to her, like, tenfold. Yeah, because he lost May, he lost all of his friends, he lost his identity, he lost he lost everything, essentially, that yeah. he could have ever lost. Um, no one you know, will know. ever know how much he sacrificed. No, nobody Actually, will know though. what he sacrificed yeah. for them. Not even strange. And now he's, he's living on his own, he has to make his way through the world, and he still did the right thing. He still saved the day, he still helps people. Cause people Peter are, much people are effing. They need to reload. Oh no. I'll say sure. Is it back up? Yeah. Uh, I see it. You're, I didn't you're, you're back. back. I'll refresh okay. once and you're good. I didn't even need to refresh. The whole time. Oh, look at you, Mr. Whoa. Green. Yeah? Mr. Green. Oh, that's it. Just look at you. Um, hello from Ketchikan, Alaska. If you sit on your own voodoo doll, can you get up? <laughs> I guess not. That's funny. Be a good way to... Like Mjolnir <laughs> with fuck, I'm doomed. Yeah. <laughs> Guess that's yeah. the end of me. If you want to see an awesome multiple personality disorder show, watch Mr. Robot. It's way better than Moon Knight. Rami Malek deserves love and praise. Yeah, Mr. Robot is better than Moon Knight, yeah. <laughs> no, it's I not even it's not a hard it's a one. <laughs> and Rami Malek is uh it's a fantastic actor. Rude at. Um I'm over 100 mm. EFAPs behind. I'm going to be so long before I watch this. Unless I stick around for a while. I'll either leave or stay, depending on the first thing I see in chat. Oh. I don't know what that was, but... I'll never know. Uh, like, oh. The idea that Doctor Strange and Wong not only, not only let <laughs> Westview happen, but didn't stop Wanda from assaulting Kamataj shows how much they've been ruined. On top of Wanda defeating the Illuminati nigh effortlessly, MCU's done for... So, the one thing I am willing to give the this insane crap ton of nonsense is I guess they really were unable to get to Westview or help them in Westview while it was happening. That's about as far as my goodwill will go. Uh, they We know now that they knew about it, uh, but they just decided it's kind of chill because he put everything right. Which is not at all what she did when you look at like no, the damage that was inflicted. That's not, not that's not what we say well, when uh, The problem is putting things right when part of the wrong that you've done is emotional harm. Yes. Yeah. Uh, like I, I mean I mean the obvious analogy is oh yeah, I kidnapped someone but I let them go, so I set things right, didn't I? It's like no, not really. Like Only in the you, loosest of like weirdest of definitions well, of putting I mean, things right. It, it's not the worst thing you could have done. But I mean, you still got a lot of things that you need to make up for. Dude, um, like robbing a fucking convenience store with a handgun and then running out, the police catch you and you go, oh, and you run all the way back into the store, put the money back yeah, in the fucking money. thing. Yeah, and... Like, we're good, right? <laughs> yeah, it's like, I made things right. So, okay. And Doc Strange knows that. And he also knows that she's incredibly unstable if that could just happen. Uh, if you believe she did well, it without her own, like, because the, the show wants you to try and believe WandaVision that uh, she wasn't fully aware, but it, it has so many lines that don't help in that regard. But one of the ones, obviously, yeah. is... Um, remember when Vision said, um, you can control them, but you can't control me? And she says, can't I? Yeah. 
It's like, that's a super villain line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've seen even, there were posts yeah. now saying, like, well, yes, she was a villain in WandaVision 2. And I'm like, can you people decide what's happening before we can figure this out? <laughs> like, the, the show itself WandaCon, doesn't seem to believe that. No, the, the show, show doesn't seems believe desperate. That. To be like, no, no, it, it, this is totally justifiable and understandable. She went through a lot, and it, it's fine, really. You're a bad person for not thinking it. If we're gonna be clear, I mean, like, gosh, like, how much do we want to almost really just go against the own sh the show and be like, ah, oh, you see, the show was trying to say that Rambo was a fucking crazy idiot at the end there. That's what it was trying to <laughs> I, say. I, I mean. I, any interpretation of that show where she isn't presented in a very positive light, like Monica, is like, you're lying to yourself. Like, she's definitely one of the protagonists. <coughs> um, oh, man. Should I get a replica N64 controller? I guess, think, with USB for emulation there probably stuff. Is. There probably no, I know is. there are. I'm thinking about getting one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a that could be interesting. Be Twenty bucks as well. I mm. thought they were much more expensive. Oh. Hail chat, scratches for rags. Saw the movie last night. A few interesting ideas ruined by rapidly changing tones, pacing, and camera angles. Middling. Oh, that's very kind of you. The so wait, the wait for movie. multiverse of madness. Yeah, to say that. Oh, middling. yeah, that is the camera changing positions often is not even top 78 issues that this film has yeah. i mean i appreciated some of the those little kind of artistic touches but i it it, it is a a tiny tiny little a little i don't even know it's it is but a grain of sand in comparison to the the mighty boulder that is this movie's issues Yes. Uh, yeah, I, I would even agree. There was plenty of things they did with the camera. I was just like, "Hey, that's that's that was a that was a neat thing you that did." Was um. Yeah. <laughs> better story. Superior Strange is the villain, and Wanda helps Strange to make up for what she's done in Westview. Then at the end, America sends Wanda to a universe where a family, where a family has a Wanda who died, replacing her. Yeah, but I don't think they want to take her out of play. They're not, the yeah. When, we can't have a story end. I mean, the, uh... If anything, she's probably going to get her own movie now. Yep. More than likely. And she's going to have this big old redemption arc. Yeah, and it'll, it'll, it'll begin and end in that film. Uh, and then we'll never talk about uh, those past events again. Um, if, you take a, if you take a dump in a bowl of Rice Krispies, will it go snap, crackle, poop? <laughs> they, they put in brackets credit to Dan Abadam, which I think the Dan on Game Grumps. I did not I think so. Yeah. Good meme. Uh, halfway through season three of Better Call Saul, Saul exposing. Oh, I'm not gonna. Why would I read that out? That's a that's a huge spooler. Uh, but they end with saying, "Man, it's some really good TV." The binge continues. Yeah, I'm glad you're enjoying it, and uh, I guess. I'm not even sure how many episodes are out right now, but I figured I'd wait until uh, the first half is out so I can just watch it all in a row. And then I think it's another year before the next half. Or something, I don't know. That half season release. Horrifying. Never be done. Rule. Um, America should be on the TVA's most wanted. Yes. Uh, I think uh, yeah, the multiverse is most wanted. I mean, she's, I mean, she's with what Reed Richards told us about the truth of all of this is she's destroying universes whenever she travels through them. I don't think they realized yeah. that they said that in the in the movie that basically her presence in our timeline she 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 wasn't born and raised in in our timeline so that means that she's going to cause an incursion eventually. Remember, the Which, larger um, the footprint you have, the more likely the incursion takes place. Yeah, and in that universe, that all the big heroes are dead. So if there is an occasion there, they're just doomed. Yeah, oh well. I hope maybe. I'm saying that he's going to inevitably cause one because for every moment she takes a breath, her footprint's increasing. In some mm -hmm. place, yeah. Um, well, and, and remember, they're gonna I mean, they're gonna kill Doctor Strange over just existing because of that's how dangerous it is. 
Meanwhile, Wanda destroyed the all good book for all the universes, and also all the bad books in all the universes. This is funny, because like, the writer doesn't even know that they've done that. Like, they've established two things at once, and it's like, oh, well, there's this conclusion then. And then they're like, what? No. I would love to see the whiteboard that they used to keep track <laughs> of all of this, and then see it's just blank. It's never used. They didn't use a whiteboard, they used a black hole. That makes sense. No narrative can escape. <laughs> Uh, go watch Fringy's Endgame video. This is not a game. I am pointing a big scary gun at the screen right now. Oh, God. Oh, oh it, calm ow. down. I already saw it. I, yeah, me too. Down. Please. I already, I've saw it. It. I already saw it. It's it's good. Okay. It's really good. Yeah, yeah I think we're all good. We should be we fine. Saw it. We watched it. We watched the. Yeah. You watch it. Watch no one, it if you want to. No one has to get to. hurt. He's got a gun, Fringy. Yeah. Yeah, you better gun. watch it. First thing I hear, mangled corpse. Oh joy. <laughs> yeah. Reference to Maxor of the day. Doom Eternal is a game with so much testosterone dripping from its orifices that it caused me to create a sun via mitosis. Sorry, nobody laughed. I guess it's funnier in his voice. Well, I was going to say, I, I, don't, I haven't even seen his videos before, so I can't even do a voice. Didn't um, Duke Nukem uh, Forever, like the original version of the game, hasn't that just been like released on PC now? I don't know. I'm thinking about that as it's, it's Doom related, I guess. It's of that era. Um... Alright, anyway, so also screw yeah. <laughs> any fans of the heroes who got wandered in this movie. Uh, also, loved your Endgame video rags. Your Australian accent's gotten way better. Oh, thank you very much. I've been working on it. It's gonna get even better as time goes on. Wait. Um, oh, there's a second one. In this adventure, you play as John Doom, a man stricken with irrationally severe autism who does not consider or think through his actions and effects on other people. Hot. Mm hmm. ER for the Halo discussion streams. Look, ER. Is like an elusive unicorn. You can't just grab <laughs> him up whenever you want. Okay. The miracle that we got two videos out of him, but who knows if he's making any more or if he's <laughs> going back to his ER hole. He does ER things. It's ER oh. hole. It ER sounds hole. nasty. ER hole. That sounds like a sounds like a character. You should try and set up a special Wednesday EFAB with Nick Rikita to cover a video about Pirates of the Caribbean. You got this week off from trial. Why Pirates of the Johnny Depp or? I guess so. I, I, well, it's uh, better than, um, what is it, the uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory? Did Amber Heard, didn't she play the uh, Oompa Loompas in that movie? All of them. <laughs> I mean, I, you know. Why do you, why do you think that there was a brown leg in there? Oh. Oh. Thank you. Oh, I thought that one bombed. I was so scared. No. <laughs> I like, I like she's a pooper. I like the imagery of a metal sitting in his chair sweating. Just like. <laughs> Please, someone laugh. Please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the trial uh, they, this week is a break and then it recommences again next week. Wait. You not, played the Poopa Loompa. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how long this trial is going to go for. Uh, how, um, how much longer is that trial supposed to go for? Has it been gone for like three weeks at this point? I don't know. I mean, like last week when I last checked on it, it was like part 12 or day 12 already. So what, um, I, I yeah. really what happens if she's found guilty? Like, what's, what's the expected result? Uh, yes. I think he's suing her for 50 million, right? So oh, or that. Be, it'll be <laughs> Well, it doesn't mean he's going to get 50 million. In fact, it would be it would it would be very like it seems like the general thing is you sue for more than you actually expect to get. Um, OK, yeah, you know, because because it's like it's it's pretty rare that you're going to get everything that you want. Like, that's yeah. kind of the nature of these sorts of cases is there's usually some sort of, you know, give and take. Um, well, still, even if you got like half that, you know, well, so I think he's suing for 50 and she's counter suing for 100 million. <laughs> Um, <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. What, what, um, is, what is her claim? Like, that this I is all her, bullshit? I, I think so, right? Like, I, the problem is I'm not, like, super familiar with all of the 
details of this, but I think, yeah, it's, it's basically, long story short, it's like, yeah, she screwed my reputation, and hers is like, no, he screwed my reputation. <laughs> no, you. Like, uh, Just um, like children. Stop. Stop. But, uh, for, I, I think from what I understand, it's like, just because of the way that defamation is in the United States, it's like the onus is, uh, yeah, like he has to he has to prove that that the op-ed was like false, I think, um, which is different because in some places you have to prove like that what you said was true or like that you had reason to believe that it was true. And yeah, that's it's it's yeah, it's complicated. Imagine she got so angry when the judge reads out the verdict, or whoever reads out the verdict, juror. I don't even know. Um, but she gets so angry she just throws a turd at the judge. I mean, and then produces one right one. there on the spot. And it, like the camera cuts over to the judge just in time to catch it, and it like it like sticks to her face just a little bit, like for a second, and then it falls <laughs> down. It would make Amber Heard one of the most famous people of all of history. <laughs> yeah. Consider it, Amber. Do it, coward. What would the, what would the result of that be? Surely. You... <laughs> um, so, so someone said he asked if the op-ed did damage to his career. It's like, well, well, no, because like people can say things that damage your career, and if they're true, it doesn't mean you can like sue them. <laughs> like an important part of defamation, a lot of the time is like the element of how true was it. Um, y yeah, you have to like establish damages in order to claim damages. Yes, but um, but then again, it it always depends on like which country in the world we're talking about. It's, it's too early in the morning to talk about this. Let's move on. Ugh. Uh, boop, boop. Where are we? Oh, and as for, yeah, Rakita, I'll get Rakita on EFAP at some point. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. You guys would have heard me. I spoke with him about how it's gonna happen on a stream. It's gonna happen. I don't um, believe you. Watch yes. them claim Wanda did nothing wrong in this one, too. I mean, that one guy basically killed himself and Professor Biden was old anyway. I don't think they're going to be making those arguments, all right? I don't think they're saying she did nothing wrong. They'll say she's grieving and she's corrupted. <laughs> which is which is like, you look at that and you're like, what are you, what? Feels like you're trying to get exactly. somewhere with that. Like, what are you saying? Yeah. My neat animal is Rokija Micra. Wait, I can't look at it. It's up to you guys. Can you, well, i about to say, could you paste it in the chat? Um, yes. That's exactly what I was going to type. Rokizia Micra. Okay. Yeah, I figured it'd be a little boy because of Micra, but uh, let me get you a little, little picture. Uh, <laughs> Rakesha Micra. Ew it. No. Oh, wow. <laughs> He's tiny. Look at him. I've seen he that sure picture is. before. Oh, yeah? The yeah. world's tiniest chameleon, Rakesha Micra. I like this picture in particular because he looks so cutical. Mm hmm. you don't you love it? Yeah, look at that thing. <laughs> He's an interesting little critter. Um, Gary, is Tim Drake Robin, or is Dick Grayson Robin, or is Tim Drake Tim Drake? Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I wouldn't have the answer to this. Do you have the answer to this, Springy? How does it work? What was the question again? Is Tim Drake Robin, or is Dick Grayson Robin, and Tim Drake Tim Drake? They're both Robin, just at different points in time. I, I, I've always... The only one I ever knew was fucking Dick Grayson because of... Batman movies, that's that's like my extent well, of knowledge. He's the main one that everybody knows about. Um, but yeah, because it was Dick Grace, and, and then it was uh, Jason Todd, then Tim Drake, and then Damian Wayne. When does Batman uh, become think, Robin? I don't think that ever happens. So each of them are, each of them end up with a different sort of like hero. I think Tim Drake becomes Red Robin. Um, Yum. Dick, Dick Grace is Nightwing. Well, fair enough. Uh, Fringy, that endgame video was fantastic. Now make one on Civil War, coward. Uh, I don't really feel like talking about Marvel stuff like in a video for a while. Um, I just, it's been it's been a lot of it, so I'm kind of tired of it. So I'll probably be. Uh, oh well, I've got the worried. perfect podcast for you on Saturday. <laughs> What's interesting <laughs> is that like Moon Knight doesn't even feel like Marvel in a way. It feels like I my I know it's Marvel. 
and I don't think it isn't, but there's something about it where it's like, oh, this is just its own little bad thing. Uh, why yeah. do you think that? I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't get that sense. I don't know. It just doesn't give me the Marvel, the the Marvel feel. Uh, it gives me the Marvel feel, especially the kaiju fight at the end of. Yeah, uh, like the last yeah, episode. That, that was that so last fucking episode. Marvel. Uh, yeah. Okay. With the exception of the last episode, which felt very, very Marvel, and I think that what we watched that and it was bonkers because we're just like, what the fuck is happening here? Oh my god! Like a total shift. I feel in the vibe of that show oh. happened in that last episode. What I'll say then, I guess, is I think episode five is the one that comes closest to me as being like a surprise that I that this is in here. Because yeah. even episode yeah. one, if you remember, yeah. we were like, man, if only the Marvel infection wasn't on this, because like. You know, all the action shit happening, like, you didn't even need that until episode two. You could have had it strictly be about Steven's life. Drop loads of hints of weird things episode. happening. End of episode, there's a cliffhanger because something goes wrong that's much more over it. Done. No, we have to have all them action scenes and... and it, is a, um, it, it is a little unfortunate as I say, I'm like, yeah, I don't feel like talking about Marvel for a while. It's like, we have just entered into, like, probably the densest concentration of Marvel content, like, ever. Moon Knight, straight into Multiverse, straight into, like, Miss Marvel, straight into Thor, straight into mm. whatever's after that. Yeah, um... Yeah. You'll get a small break with Halo, uh, the following week, mm -hmm. but then the week after, we're uh, back right. to Moon Knight. Uh, right. Yeah, <laughs> Quote-unquote break. Yeah. A Marvel. Um, That's about it. Yeah, and then, well, then we got Kenobi coming soon, too. You guys all excited? Oh, We're gonna be getting the gang back together, the Boba Fett gang. Assuming nice. Jay is I'm looking forward board. to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me and Friggy are like, yep. <laughs> Lots of editing. Yeah. Uh, hi, Rags. Hi. Stupid Doctor Strange's snake fingers. He put more effort into taking the cube from Spider-Man than trying to fight Wanda. Something I saw someone highlight is like, so she escapes from the mirror dimension and then he just never tries that again. It's like yes. it, it did seem to yeah. it did seem to stop it for a little bit. So I don't know. Yeah, just keep doing that. Remember how easy it is for him to put people in the mirror dimension? Yeah, it's like effortless, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty easy. Maybe that ability's on a cooldown, like a video game. You can only use this once every seven hours. Funnily oh, enough, um, I know a couple of clips from Multiverse Madness came out before, like it was released in cinemas, or at least close to when it was released in cinemas. And uh, there was only one that I saw, and it was that moment when he fires his snakes at her. And I remember saying to Fringy, "Why the fuck is he firing snakes at her when he has <laughs> so many different moves he could use?" The These film are did magic not. Magic snakes, Mahler. <laughs> They're magic snakes. The snakes will work. And then when she cuts off their heads, more heads come out of the snakes. Until the end where she just blows them all away at once. The best part is him snarling at her. Yeah. Snakes. You have to be one with the snakes. That's how the spell works. Mm -hmm. You can do this with all kinds of creatures. It it It's only limited by your creativity to mimic animals. Does he need the sling ring to do the mirror dimension? As far as I know, no. No, you don't need the sling ring. If you, you remember, to um, the the most overt about it in No Way Home in terms of activation, you just do like a movement with your hand and it opens. Yeah, but um, but you need a sling ring to get out. Yes. Uh, except for what she can just get out. <laughs> yep. Also, that would not even be possible for her. Why is it in this film that the mirror dimension provided a bunch of like reflective glot like shards that she could? That's not what the mirror dimension is. The mirror dimension doesn't look like that. Well, yeah, like she, yeah you're right. She, she like smashes it, and it's like, how did you do that? I've heard people yeah. say like it's because it's chaos magic, and that's something it does. Oh, the like... film elaborated. Well, no, it's not magic. It's witchcraft. Yeah. Oh, right? God, they say not sorcery. <laughs> which... This is the, I've, this this is a legit conversation happening right now. They're like, EFAP is so stupid. They don't know the difference between multiverses and timelines. I, okay. And I was legit I'm like, I'm sorry, wait, what? Timelines and multiverses? I, I don't think you understand, because multiverses yeah. and are the one and the same in the MCU. How can they anyway. be different? What is happening? They're different kinds they're, of different worlds? They're not. They are di the different timelines, are different universes in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Loki establishes this, and mm. Endgame well, I, does too. I was Endgame just thinking to myself, like, if. Yeah. 
if Loki is dealing with different timelines while Doctor Strange is dealing with different universes and Doctor Strange the first movie was only dealing with different dimensions, like that's how you're supposed to think about it? I mean, like, how the hell does this make any sense? Nah, I just think you're wrong. <laughs> like, whatever, whatever people I say, that's fucking... like, no, timelines in the universe is one and the same. What does that mean for Nexus beings? That you can grab, I... if you're in Loki, you could clone the Scarlet Witch as a Nexus being or whatever, and just put her, you could have more than one America Chavez, right? I, I mean, what happens if the TVA, like, delete her? What happens? Like, they just choose to delete her and, and that's it. Like, do you have, is it possible to remove a, like, Nexus being? Well, actually, I don't even think that would work because remember, we we use we use melting as shorthand for they took them and transported them to a planet where there's this massive gargantuan alien shadow monster, but I don't know if that would be able to stop Wanda. And plus she could still travel multiverses through dream walking, right? Yeah. So I don't even know if the, that would even work with Wanda. Because I've seen people say, like, the Dark Dimension in reference to its, I don't know, locale compared to our dimension is, like, not a, a thing to do with the multiverse. Like, because uh, dimensions and universes are different, and I'm just like, this is going to get way too fucking complicated for them to be able to deal with. Like, the them as writers, I mean. Mm. Um... And yeah, it's, like I said, it just brings up way too many questions. The, unfortunately, the the cat's out of the bag. The Ancient One describes it as the multiverse in her movie. Yeah. We're, we're stuck on that one. Um. So yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I don't think it can really make any sense. And instead of entertaining the idea that multiverses, dimensions, and timelines are all different things, I'd rather just go with they are not different things. How the fuck does that make any sense if they're not? I guess each multiverse could have its own set of timelines like maybe it's a category aspect like we have this verse multiverse and this multiverse contains within its category all of its timelines so th the problem is that like loki's i don't know how do you square away what happened at the end of i don't loki know ringy the <laughs> well, yeah i, I was gonna know. say even if you tried to start up that logic loki as a show has already blown that open so I don't know. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying something. I know you're trying. <laughs> <Even though laughs> something. It's like, and plus, how different can a timeline get? Because, of course, different timelines on the same universe can still be wildly different. So, oh, how different yeah, they can, can a timeline if they all, be? Yeah. If they branched from as early as, like, you know, year. remember, uh, when they blow it up in Loki, they can now branch from anywhere, like any time. We can branch yeah. all the way back at the beginning. <laughs> Which just creates what I thought was the multiverse. I thought that was the idea. Well, I absolutely was, and I'm sure there would be interviews from the writer himself saying that that's what is, that meant. Can't just change your mind halfway. <laughs> like, uh, so fucking hard to keep track of everything. Uh, oh yeah. Um. Just saw the movie. They did my boys Black Boy, blah, 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 Black Bolt, and Mr. Fantastic real dirty. Only good news is that I was pulling a Jack Sparrow when I saw it. Well, I'm sure he means well, uh, abiding by the law. Maneuver, abiding by the law. That's what he meant because that's what Johnny Depp's doing. It's that's, true. That's what he meant. Any opinions on the Spore series? Also, hi Ragus. Oh, hi. Uh, the. Like the the game where you make the creatures and they grow yeah. up and yeah. I've never played it, so um, I don't know. I only played I it briefly, really I think, and I don't. Surprised. I just don't have anything interesting to say on it. I think Jay played it a bunch. Well, got. I, I think bet I only he fucked played around with the score. creature editor once. And that's about it. <laughs> there you go. Uh, hi Rex. Hi. Stupid Doctor Strange is. Oh no! Wait, we read the Snake Fingers one. Excellent. Yay! Even worse there than Iron more. Man three there could be many. and Snake Thor fingers, two. I mean, it's bad, but okay. I trust you, Rags. Also, hi, Rags. Hi. Sorry. What? What did I say? That's to be trusted, other than everything. They said. But specifically, what was it in this instance? Well, I don't understand this. They're saying like, "Wow, Rags, you're saying the movie's worse than Iron Man three and Thor 2? It's like, bro, where have you been? Yeah, Th those absolutely. two haven't yes. been the worst for a while. Yeah. <laughs> 
Do you miss Captain Marvel was 2000 fucking 18, 17, 19. 19. So yeah, it's been it's been a while. I mean, I'm at three and Thor two still suck though. Yeah, they're hey. bad, but are oh, there needs there's like there's like a special grading curve for the suckitude that's in Marvel stuff now. Suckitude, I like mm. it. It's it's really we're talking like we have to we have to first ask ourselves, okay, did they break space and time? That's like our <laughs> opening starter question. That's becoming a more frequent occurrence now. Yeah, yeah. which kind of makes sense with the hero we're in. Uh, Sperg did a two-hour video dumping on Endgame. As Disney MCU fanboys, can tear, can you tear him a new hole and defend the greatest <laughs> ending ever? Well, who, would, uh, who would who would make a two-hour video on Avengers? Well, let me Endgame? tell you this. I did. I did uh, it's bad. I, did, I, I haven't seen it. I, I, but I did get a couple of comments like that. It was kind yeah, of funny. Because, like there was one who clicked on it. it was like, I'm not wasting two hours of my time. It's like, but you will waste the time to tell me that you're not going to waste your time. <laughs> yes. But that is not know. time wasted. I can guarantee you this it. video by this creator frying -y, is bad. Because if you if you need to take two hours to explain your perspective, it's then you need to. The length of the film, though. No. I, I I'm gonna make a real good joke. <laughs> here here I go. go I'm gonna, I should tweet this. Uh, fr fr fringy in high school. Here's my essay, teacher. It was only supposed to be a couple pages. Fringy presents book. <laughs> it's, so it's so analogous how a project that someone chooses to make on their own time, on their own terms, in a format and at a length of their own choosing, is not analogous with being tasked with uh, doing a project that has to fit certain um, restrictions. What? No, there's a YouTube Can't guy, know. there's like Mr. YouTube, and he says how long your videos are supposed <laughs> to be. Mr. YouTube. Yes, Mr. Mr. and he said that it's like 11 hours and 59 minutes. There is a Kang of YouTube, and he makes yeah. all the rules. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Stolen joke, Mullet? Yeah, you know what? I shouldn't have stolen that joke. It's so good that it needs its credit. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure it was, uh, it was 8080 chat. He put out that tweet about me. He was like, you, in school, Mullet probably took like a, an essay <laughs> probably thing did more and wrote work like a than book. The bare minimum. Ugh. So fucking funny that they use the essay argument every time. It's just like, I ain't got a fucking teacher! I'm doing my own shit! <laughs> I do actually have a passion want. for what I'm discussing. I it's might do really more than the bare minimum. Like, Ew, you spend nasty. a long time on something. It's like... Loser. <laughs> well, and you know that any creator they like, the second they release something that's that long, they'd be like, yeah, but this has meaning in it. This is meaningful. Yeah, it's full <laughs> like, of amazing, so well-researched points. And then, at, at that point, it's like, so it's not about length, then. It's about substance. It's like, yeah. Uh, have you Unless watched it's the smaller. No. Unless it's the no, guy I know yeah. doesn't have any substance. Okay. Yeah. I, don't, I mean, he, like I know he me. doesn't have any substance. I haven't watched his videos, but I mean, I I know it doesn't have any substance. How could you talk about the last, the last Skywalker for seventeen hours and <laughs> of course there's nothing of substance in yeah. it? I wouldn't watch it. Also, the MCU is like wet bread. It's everywhere. It is kind yeah. of everywhere on social media, which is what they want, and they're getting it. Dude, Bride Rog. Yeah. Bride Rock. <laughs> when America's like parents Bride Rock is like wet bread. Got sucked out. I had to stifle my laughter in the theater, and I lost count of how many times I thought, "Why aren't you guys running? Or why are you guys standing still?" Dude, it's the worst in the in the broken world because he has he has flight at that point, and he doesn't use it. Disney knew that they needed to get rid of the gay couple very quickly for the Chinese censors to approve of their film. Mm-hmm. Well, they didn't have to do anything because nothing went beyond implied, which is they're allowed to get away with this. When they have like the the girls kiss, that's what they have to delete mm. those scenes. Um, well, no, because the film got banned in a lot of countries, uh, specifically because of that scene. What the fact that Where they the were just standing were there? Killed? Yeah, Damn. That, that that she references that she has two mums. That that got it banned in a lot of countries. Well, Based. and I'm they glad uh, they didn't. didn't, they didn't <laughs> They didn't censor it. There's about fucking time that they stopped censoring it to, to release well, it. Well, like yeah, that. exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, I guess it depends on how big those markets were that it got banned in. Well, Because if it was it, China, they would have probably. I don't know that any uh, Marvel film has been released in China. I was going like, to say. Facebook, including no oh, Way really? 
When I went wow. home, I think uh, the requirement was I had to get rid of the Statue of Liberty in the like final battle. Um, what? So I, yeah, wow! <laughs> That's apparently insane, that even the, for uh, the Chinese. Apparently that was a request and they chose not to, so the film never got released in China. I don't think any MC <laughs> film, like in Phase 4, has released in China. That's so funny. A statue dedicated to the concept of liberty? This is against party <laughs> values. That's too much. Get it out of here. Get this crap out of uh. here. Mm. What's um, y'all's- from rumor? Oh, okay. I, I thought that was- okay. What's y'all's thoughts on Better Call Saul? I loved season 1 through 5, but since season 5 finale, the show feels kind of off. I can't quite put my finger on why. But season 6 has not won me over yet. Also, who's your favorite character? Uh, 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 it's going to be Mike. I can't not love Mike. He's, it's difficult not to choose him in fucking Breaking Bad, honestly. But then you got Walt, so... Walt's pretty hard to beat. Um, but yeah, it would be, be Mike for me. As for... Um, I'm assuming all three of you haven't really seen much of Better Call Saul. I, I have any. not seen any of Better Call Saul. Yeah. I've only seen a few episodes. Well, then, as for uh, the quality of it, I guess is what they're trying to. They're saying the finale of season five fell off. Um, if you're talking about, uh, I'm trying to like not say anything spoilery. It's just like the the big action scene that happens. I wasn't satisfied with it. Um, it felt like we should have um, we should have written a way better reason for why all of that turned out the way that it did, I think, than what amounts to he was very fucking lucky in a couple of ways. But, like, as I've said before, with even the flaws in, like, Breaking Bad, the kind of flaws you get are a lot of the time nudges from the writer. Just like, this actually happened. It's a little less likely than you'd think, but that's what happened. And you're like, okay. And they're usually very plotty. They're not oftentimes, uh, damaging to characters, and that's kind of, I, I feel like that's going on in Bellicor Soul as well. Um, but like, it's uh, it's better than anything Disney Plus have put out, so if you were looking to spend time on a Woo. bigger budget, sort of... I'm already convinced. ...newer show, <laughs> um, now's the time to start binge-watching Bellicor Soul, I guess, because this is the beginning of the end this season. Um, but yeah, I just want to... Mola said the first two episodes of the new season were fine. They are fine. I don't know. I This is the thing. People have criticized us before for like, like why do you guys do more ratings that aren't like it's amazing or it's terrible? And it's like we gave five to the Suicide Squad, to Batman, and to No Way Home. And I'm saying I watched a TV show. I thought it was fine. The episodes were fine. Yeah, a lot of things are fine. More. I know it's just the most boring fucking take ever, but it's, I don't know. That's all <laughs> I got to say on that one. Um, Maybe I'll have more to say when I watch the rest of them. Not sure. Uh, I watched Moon Knight episode 5 out of context for reasons, and I have to say, even though Tarouette is an ancient goddess and should have had a different speech pattern, I find she is a lovable sweetheart. Um, I'd have to go through all of the things that she does and decisions that she makes. It's hard for me to believe that a god... Or, or a goddess... Mm. Don't want to get cancelled, but uh, I can't believe that a goddess of this kind of, who does, who's, who has this role, which is apparently her role, um, I don't know why she's the one doing this in the Pantheon, but, uh, like, she, that she would have this personality and be so quirky and fun and contemporary, uh, this applies kind of to all the gods, they seem like they're very contemporary, um, there, there's nothing that seems ancient or grandiose or, dare I say, even really interesting about them. They're all just a bunch of boring, lame assholes. Some of the aesthetics are really neat, um, but the, even those are touch and go. I never really cared for Conchu's design. Um, I, I just didn't care for seeing him so much. That was my issue. I, yeah, it, I feel like that needed to be a payoff or so, uh, yeah, how they decided to display the gods, either in their true forms or I would just want him their... in darkness all the time. Just kind of able to make out the model, maybe. Yeah. Uh, it, yeah, like, profile so you could see that they have, like, the animal heads and things, and it would be really cool if they were, if you only saw them in shadow profile. 
because of the Egyptian art style and how it was, uh, how they portrayed uh, uh, you know, characters in you know, the side profiles that are facing left and right, generally. So maybe that's the way that the gods decided to present themselves to mortal people, which influenced... Turns out that's why, you know, maybe ancient Egyptians did their art, because there's a lot of things you can do, is the point. And how they did it was not interesting or fun or really anything. It, it stank. It, it just stank. It sucked. Yes, um, I think that in other contexts I might have enjoyed her personality, but it was too much to tell me that that's an ancient god. I, I struggle with that. Um, and I'm almost tired of that being the, um, the subversion, I think. The, this, like, we wouldn't yeah. expect an ancient being to be like this, would you? And yeah. you're like, yeah, no, not really. Like, I don't know. I was like, I feel, I was like, she just feels like Janice, who works at the come and go. And I don't feel like this is an ancient deity that's worthy of all this reverence and worship and... There's nothing regal about it. But you'd expect him to be... Yeah, I kind of... Yeah, I would. You might as well, it's just like Kang. It's like, look, he's so nuts. He's like bouncing all around. He's super over the top. He's kind of crazy. We wouldn't expect that from the oldest mm -hmm. being in the universe. Like, We had a whole no. discussion about what we think Kang should have been. And I think all of our ideas were way better than the ones that they portrayed. Professional clowning. What led to that? This time. Uh. That's one way to do it. Kang should have been a grief clown. What is everyone Speaking of ancient mess what yeah? What? What is everyone's thoughts on the Stanley Parable? Would love to hear your thoughts slash see a play through the game. I love the Stanley Parable and everyone should play the Stanley Parable. I haven't played the new one. I need to though, but the Stanley Parable is top tier game. One of the payoffs I, I remember it. is um because it's all meta commentary on like everything, and when they have that little cardboard baby heading toward the fire, and you can <laughs> press the button to save it, if you choose not to, he's like, Stanley, Stan let the baby, like you killed a baby. <laughs> like, there's just there's so much fun shit that happens in that game. Yeah, I never played, I don't know, quote unquote, through it. I played it a while, and it was really fun. It's got a lot of different endings. It's I weird to... to say if you finished it or not, yeah. Yeah. I remember being thrown yeah. off by that when I first ever played it because I didn't know what I was in for and I'd finished it like within, quote unquote, finished it within like 15 minutes and I was like, wait, what? And it's like, <laughs> go and do something different. Let's see what happens. Yeah. A, the, the... I'm going to kill that baby every goddamn time though. Okay. Of course. Deluxe edition came out, didn't it? Yeah. I want to stream that. Yeah. At some point. I have, yeah. I have not played it. I need to though. Seriously, everyone here needs to play the Stanley Parable. I think Meme has been streaming it a bit, the new version. Mm hmm. Uh, Ow. Do you think the Vader vs. Kenobi fight will have a line at the end where Obi Wan says something like, You're still just the learner, as a poor way to legitimize the story in the canon of the OT? I think they're going to put say... in several cringy lines to try and fix the dialogue of A New Hope when it doesn't need fixing. They'll say, Anakin, they'll never know how much you sacrificed, but you made things <laughs> right. Fuck. Um, it says the bee was my favorite character. I, I mean, one that landed on uh, America. Yeah. Fuck. Um, I thought my the future in NYC was an overgrown post-apocalypse at first. Why did it take so long to open America's <gasps> cage? Range seemed to oh, open easily enough. Nice. I mean, yeah, I was fine with like the that being like a variable. I was like, that's kind of neat, yeah. but that's about as interesting as it got. That's kind of the thing is like, they happen to end up in the, uh, happen to. Uh, yeah, we'll gather. <laughs> fuck. Um, but why did it take so long to open America's cage? Um, so the logic in the film is you would have opened Strange's mechanically tries to open America's mechanically apparently couldn't quite type it fast enough which I agree it's strange because it stranges real fast or at least she seemed to uh, but the thing is you see the writer needs to have the payoff of her punching through it with her star power mm -hmm. so we can't have the other girl releasing her that that doesn't that's bad writing can't do that it is weird considering what the Illuminati thinks of Strange that his would be the easiest to open of them. 
was not. That's just it, they fucked up when they portrayed her trying they, to break they America out. As evil open as each other. Yeah, they're, they're not they're, because Fox oh, okay. commanded it. Oh, okay. Um. Do you think Chavez's tragic backstory is more hilarious than Black Bolt's from the Inhuman series? I don't well, know. I what, yeah, I don't know what Black Bolt is. I don't know, but it was pretty funny, so. <laughs> I think it gets funnier when Strange tells her the thing at the end. Oh, like it was all meant to be that way. Yeah. <laughs> you meant to be are destined to be sucked into portals and die. Thanks, Mr. Strange. <laughs> all the Egyptians who pirated the movie. Yes! Yes! You tell them, Doctor. <clears throat> Wanda is a glass cannon. One guy with a sniper rifle could have ended the movie instantly. No. No, we found out that she is now super powered as well. That no punch yeah. or blast. She was hit with a cannon. It does nothing. So, nope. Turns out she's super duper resilient. Just, just like we uh, can change that rule uh, on a dime. Uh, there are so many moments in the movie where she could have been kneecapped if only someone knew firearms existed. Also, high rags. Hi. Uh, to be fair, she's you can block bullets with a telekinesis. Um. But I, I, you know, like, and I don't even have an issue with that. Like, her being able to provide herself a shield with telekinesis. That's fine as powers go. I'm more so concerned that she should have lost to Captain Marvel. That's just, that seems categorical to me. Oh, yeah. Blasting a fucking... This woman, Captain Marvel's pretty powerful, okay? It was a whole oh, thing. No. A very badly written whole thing. Mm hmm Do you guys hear that John Watts backed out of Fantastic Four? Yes. Yeah. And believe me, that movie will be worse off for it. Yeah, it was... Was there any reason why he backed off? I don't think uh, he said he wanted to break some stuff. He's doing Spider-Man 4, though, isn't he? On Hollow 1? Maybe. I think I heard that, but I don't know if that's the case. But yeah, that's that's what he said, as he wants to break. Oh, maybe it was a project that was to be started up soon. That's why he's dropping out. But maybe Spider-Man isn't going to start up filming for a bit. For a while, yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, uh, everyone is waiting in anticipation for who's going to be directing Fantastic Four. Have they figured that out yet? No. Go on, do it, Peyton Reed. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> that would be really funny. Um... Doing my job at the theater, I hate Marvel with a fiery passion. These movies are made for millions of brain-dead zombies. Also, you don't miss anything by skipping the after credit scenes. Doctor Strange is a villain. Is he a villain? We don't know yeah. that, right? I mean, he's just an idiot. I don't know. I wouldn't call him a villain. <laughs> Very incompetent. Uh, or do they mean the after credit scene implies that he's a villain? I don't think so. I don't think so. He's got this third eye, but he seems to still be on board with doing good things. Presumably. Yeah. I don't think the like third eye makes you evil. I don't dark. know. Yeah, I don't know if it does either. Because generally, the third eye doesn't make you evil. That's what I've heard. It's just symbolically used to represent your extrasensory perception. Yes, you are uh, opened your third eye. You have become one with knowing more. Your third eye, or as I call it, us. It was written by the Loki guy, but they blatantly retcon Loki. Also, some... Sam Raimi's flavor was the best part of the movie. Should have gotten a Strange vs. Wanda movie devoid of all the multiverse flames. Dude, it would have been cool to have seen a Sam Raimi movie, movie uh, but not, like, let him write it too. That would, I would have way preferred seeing what he would have come up with for Doctor Strange. Um, the the Loki writer's fingerprints are clearly all over this. Like, because it's... <laughs> it's no coincidence that Loki and this are the worst things in the MCU. Like, I... I it's like, well, what's yeah. the, what connects them? It's like this guy, <laughs> who's, this who's guy. got a Star Wars movie now too. It's like, what, oh, what the God. fuck? How? Why how do people you... write things so terrible and they just throw them the? Uh, there is no justice in this world. Loki was a super popular TV show, and this movie is making all of the money. Mm -hmm. That's all Must you need. have been because of the writing. Uh, MCU movies it. and shows only have two goals. Be a big crowd pleaser and set up the next big crowd pleaser. Pretty much, yeah. 
Yeah, when explains the, yeah. the Conchu fucking fight at the end of Moon Knight. That was clearly meant to be like, how incredibly epic and awesome is this show? Now, get ready for the next one. Yeah. If you've already answered this, you can skip this super chat. Why was Captain Carter British? Well, when you say why was she British, do you mean why Her was... Her parents were British. She was born in Britain, I suppose. <laughs> Well, yeah, let's try and answer this in every way you can imagine. So the character herself is just from Britain and assisted in the war effort. I don't know Captain uh, Peggy Carter's history beyond what I saw in Captain America 1, so that's all I got. But if you're asking why he is, like, got the British logos as opposed to American, it's, like, probably because she's British, I guess, even though she's still fighting the war in America. Like, you know, she's got a bit of pride for her home country, I guess. Uh... I don't know how, what else you could mean by that question. I, um, if you're confused as to why she's even there, like it's just a multiverse thing where what if gives you the answer, but you wouldn't need what if to make this answer. It's just a, 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 you know, a timeline where uh, Steve was unable to get into the machine and she takes position because he's like got or whatever happens in fucking what if. And so she ends up getting the serum and she ends up being Captain... Well, she doesn't call herself Captain Britain, right? Uh, I think they call her Captain Carter, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's just Captain Because there is a Captain Britain, it's not her, as far as I know. Ah. But anyway, next one. Why was Captain Marvel black? That's because Monica Ram... Wait, I always mix them up. What are the two names? It, Maria Rambo is... Maria's uh, the daughter, is the right? Mom. And Mo Monica's... No. <laughs> Monica's the daughter. Maria's the mother. Okay, so... The, yeah, it well, is Maria she... Rambo. If you're, she was also a pilot, and she could have been the person who went on that flight, right? It could have there's been no reason why out. you can't switch her and Brie Larson out, yeah, in that movie. Yeah. The, the fates they have, so that's fine with me. I, mean, I don't really care about these. Anyway? What, like, what? <laughs> the problem with them existing, yeah. Well, because, like, the question of why is Captain Marvel black, the question should be why that's is Captain Marvel question. Rambo? Yeah. And the answer is just that's you know she's just one of the two pilots in the system that was doing the the flames that ended was, up with yeah. You know. Well, yeah, it's it, they're trying to actually do the cause and effect thing, right? Where it's like, well, it could have been her. Um, Which yeah, that's fine with me. Um, makes a hell of a lot more sense than most things in this film. Yeah. Uh, I find giving Carter, I can do this all day, absolutely cringe though. Give her a different line. Yep. It yeah. Would been, it would actually we have been have cool if you could write her things. an interesting line that can stand on its own without knowing why she even says it necessarily. Like in terms of where yeah, it would originate. I can do this all day relies a lot on Captain America. When if you want to have Captain Carter, you should give her her own original stuff. You know. I would mm -hmm. rather say it relies on Steve Rogers' life. Um, when this. Captain Carter is her own woman. It, it would, who has her own life experiences. It feels like they think that if anyone picks up that shield, that's what they're supposed to say. <laughs> and it's like, oh, that's a bit cringy, isn't it? <laughs> it's, it's, it's a line I would attribute to Steve specifically. It's well, like that, and Steve that's, thing. to clarify, I'm not saying she could never say it. If, if we saw a Captain Carter movie, and when she knew Steve, because she would have known Steve, like, like she does in the What If episodes, you know, imagine she sees him fighting someone, and he's losing miserably, and, like, he says that. And then yeah. they even have a conversation about it, and, like, she just gets inspired by his, sort of, zeal. Um, someone in chat beat me to it, but, yeah, it is pretty funny that she dies, like, ten seconds after saying she can do this all day. <laughs> ah, well, I've heard the argument that it's designed that way to be funny. I, I mean... I'm so um, am I to believe that I'm supposed to be laughing? I don't get it because the music I'm doesn't match that at all. Like, well, why would I be laughing at this? Why would I be laughing at a hero getting chopped in well, half with her own the, shield? The music makes it tragic. So yeah, and then I well, think these course, people would be like, yes, but that's the juxtaposition, isn't it? That you're being given this normal Marvel stew, but in actuality, it's so funny to look at. And I'd just be like, I don't understand anymore. I just don't know what's, <laughs> what's happening. You've just, you, yeah, you're just bringing out the, no, 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 it's supposed, they're, they're supposed to be stupid in that universe. No, 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 it's supposed to be funny. No, 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 it's supposed to, yeah, is, no uh, flaws in a movie ever. This is what is often referred to as cope. Oh, yes, wow. this seems very cope-ish. And I'm not talking about Egyptian swords. Uh, not cope-ash. Yeah. Close enough. 
I mean, I know it's Kofesh. <laughs> I know it's Kofesh, but it's like, it's close. Which is why the comment, I'm not talking about Egyptian swords, might be relevant, because people might think, because they're very mm. similar, that I would want them. Ugh. In fact, it relies partially on their similarity. Go back. Go back. When they're trying to do it. Don't put that quote. These guys haven't seen that. Alright, Spula. And that includes you, Fringy. This reference is something you haven't oh. Um, that will boy. probably be shown to you guys at some point, but um, oh boy. that's the thing, it's a suggestion that isn't it a juxtaposition, the tragedy that she's like, I can do this all day and then she gets fucking murdered and it's like, oh no and so if we ignore the argument that it's supposed to be funny um, I, I would then bring in the argument well, it comes across as funny to be like fucking, you can't beat me oh shit, you beat me yeah, like, huh okay, uh, like Larry. 10 seconds later with her own weapon Again, like, most of it's just confusing to me. It, it, the emotions I draw out of that scene are so fucking all over the place. I would, you'll find I'll just instead, with you guys, on Saturday, just list all the ways. It doesn't make any fucking sense at all. Because yeah. there's a lot. Um, oh, there's... Yeah. <laughs> the funniest being that, like, she gets the... In terms of ratio, way too long to survive, considering her uh, ability. Power level. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Also, like, the fight's pretty just not interesting. Mm -hmm. um, like, just when she's fighting Captain Marvel, they just spin around in a circle. It's and like, at times, what the hell is it? all the edited. Yeah. yeah. I've seen everyone praising the editing in this film, and I was like, hmm. Hmm. Uh, if Strange defeated Thanos and Ultron drones exist, wouldn't Tony be on the panel of the Illuminati? Apparently people well, have been some... theorizing that it, they could have been made by Reed, not Tony. I mean, he's a smart guy. It's, um, that one I'm less fond of compared to stuff like Captain Carter and uh, Rambo Marvel, because it's like, a lot of things have to go that I know it's an infinite multiverse, so any, literally, like, fucking Ultron could have been made by Whiplash. It's just like, yeah, I know, anything can happen, <laughs> but I, um, I don't know, I find that one just l less... I, I would prefer that Superior Iron Man were there, or something like that. Uh, I mean, you know that, like, in the comics, that, uh, that Ultron was created by Hank Pym? Well, this is the MCU, though. Sure, but, like, this is the multiverse, though, right? So, wouldn't you just retort that, like... That did you hear the first what, part what I said, or no? No, I, I did, but I guess I'm just wondering why, like, you're attached to Iron Man being the person who created them. Because he made a uh, thing, well, Bruce as well, so I guess I count him. Yeah, but like, I, I guess I'm not seeing why that would be like a, a, a sort of preference that at, at all, really, you know? Like, well, so yeah, that you can have that position, but that's why I would find it really dissatisfying to see like an Uncar Plutt in the Captain Marvel suit. It's like, yeah, it's a multiverse. I'd be like, okay. I would love to see it. I guess what I'm fun. saying is I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't see the ways in which it is like super unsatisfying or less satisfying that it was Reed or Hank or any other Because they're not people. variations of the timeline at that point, they're just like, they're, they're completely different timelines that have like nothing to do with the, each other, which I find less satisfying. Oh. I don't see how that's hard to understand. I thought that we were on the same page with all the stuff I said. Like why didn't you uh, counter anything I said about Captain Marvel or Carter? Well, I'm, there's not really a counter there. I'm just saying, like, I can see the cause and effect through line there. Just because, like, it's well, yeah, but you wouldn't need clear. one. It's a multiverse. That's what you just told me. Um, yeah, sure. Uh, I guess what I'm saying is, that, like, in this particular case, I'm not I'm not quite sh sure that I... Well, so your logic is it's a smart like person it. that makes it, therefore that's that's that. So it's like, yeah, I'm like, oh, I would prefer well, something more really, than that. Really that. It'd, be, it'd be good if we got more of an explanation as to why they made it. I guess I'm just saying that it's not, like, a big deal to me that, um... That, that Tony wasn't involved in the creation of these Ultron bots. I, I, like, I can, see, I can see ways in which the universe would be the same and different, and I don't need it all to, like, be a clear example of just one of two things, you know, could have happened and then it diverged that way. Um, it's, yeah, I, I, I just... I, I yeah, don't I don't understand, because like I've already conceded, like, you can have anything happen in a multiverse. I find it more satisfying yeah, sure. if it's deviations on a timeline instead of just blatant, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, it's I, just this. This I is you. the way it went. I get you. Cause like I even see that with Black Bolt, I'm kind of like, does he? So he's just an well, element that didn't exist at all in the MCU. And similarly, 
a lot of, like Spider-Man doesn't exist in any of the universes that uh, Chavez happened to go to. Theoretically, that's not necessarily true. She may have just not heard of him. Um, the Black Bolt one is more interesting and much bigger implications of his existence. It's like, oh, so there are like Inhumans in this universe then, which we don't seem to have in the MCU because like, I don't know if that show was canon or not. It's like, that's a big difference. And mutants, too. You it's know, because like, we don't have mutants yet in the MCU. Yeah, no, yeah, that's that, that's also... That's the thing. Like, it, that's what that's the vibe I get when they introduce these characters. Like, Captain Carter. If you haven't seen What If, that's a complete, like, new thing. And you're like, Captain Carter. Oh, because... Okay, I can see how that might have happened. Yeah, and then it's like, Monica Rambeau, Maria Rambeau. I I'm, keep, I'm never going to remember which fucking name it is. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, They had to both begin with an M. And that made it impossible. I had the same problem with all the fucking bosses in, um, Elden Ring. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, uh, but it'd be like, it, it was here, and you're like, oh, okay, yeah, I can kind of see on that, and then it's like, Reed Richards, and you're like, oh, hi. Mm -hmm. Where we, yeah, like, where's, and especially Doctor Strange saying, didn't you guys chart in the 60s? It's like, wait. What does that mean? <laughs> Doctor Strange is aware of the Fantastic Four? Yeah. Which means they were in and it's like, no. And it's just like, yeah, it's yeah. a reference to the old shit for Fantastic Four. So it's just like, what? And then I've seen people say, yeah, it's just a little fourth wall joke. Shut up. And it's like, no, you can't. Uh... <laughs> Look, if you have someone, quote unquote, look into the camera and even winking, you can get away with saying they're just a crazy person who did that. Okay, that's all that is. When Dark Strange literally makes a reference to something that can't exist to him and only exists in our world, it's just like, what the fuck was that? Is he losing his mind? Like, actually? It's the multiverse. Doesn't even make sense. He didn't go to a universe where he had met them first. It, they were well, there. he went, he went through our universe and then he heard about them from a random passerby who was discussing that topic. Some people in chat are saying that it's like a reference to the Beatles or like a band. You know, that there's a... Oh, was there a band called Fantastic Four in the 60s? Was That's there? what it is! Oh, uh, okay. Who the fuck's gonna get that? <laughs> like, I thought he was referencing, Funny. like, older Fantastic Four stuff. I mean, fair I can't play. remember what I thought when I watched it. I think I might have gone with the band, but I I thought he was referencing was the literal... Like, I can't remember who made it. Um, Fab Four or the Beatles. Like, okay. I could, well, the, the fact that I haven't heard anybody uh, recognize that, and that's the first time, it's just like, damn. Wait, dude. sorry, but did he get told that Reed was part of the Fantastic Four? He didn't get told that, right? I think, so. yeah, no, no, I think Mordo did say Fantastic Four. Oh, did he? Okay. Because if not, then he just jumped to the conclusion that the four on his chest meant that there were four of them. <laughs> I mean, well, that makes that? way more sense to me, though, that if there is a fucking band called the Fantastic Four that exists in the 60s, that's that's... It's way better. I thought it was a people fucking meta reference. I feel Dude. like you keep people keep saying it's the Beatles, the Fab Four or something. I genuinely had no idea. Wait, or the Fab Four? Mop Top Kids from Liverpool. Yeah. But the Fab Four and the Fantastic Four aren't the same thing. As in, like, the words. Like, no, is, is that the apparently joke? Apparently the Fantastic Four is a group as well. So Jesus Christ, I've got three explanations for this joke. I need help. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I don't know. Pick I'm your lost. favorite. That's canon. That's canon. <laughs> yeah. This is the thing. I genuinely don't even know these these cultural references. I am I am out of the loop on this one. Such grass. Oh my god. I really need to. Well, no way. Is that? Go to a mosh pit. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. That. Okay. That's fine. It's a fab before joke. Don't be so literal. I don't even know if I'm being literal or not anymore. <laughs> If I'm not supposed to be literal, but I am literal, I don't mean to be. I don't think. <laughs> it's happened before, I don't get a reference, and so I get confused. But I, I actually... Because this is the thing, not only did I think this, but I was fucking... I told, saw it on a, um, a Reddit post about how it was like, it was a really cool meta joke about Fantastic Four movie. Or I can't remember if it was a movie or a show, I'm pretty sure it was a movie. It was uh, the Coleman movies, right? They're like super old. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember if they were in the 90s, though, so maybe that joke wouldn't work. But I think that the, the argument in the thread was that in Strange's universe, there would have been movies made that were the ones in our universe, but at a different time or whatever. And I was just like, Jesus Christ, how does this make any sense? <laughs>
He's referencing the four elements. Wow. Well, just, uh... <laughs> the fantastic <laughs> four elements. Um... Didn't you peak 3.5 billion years ago? As for, wouldn't Tony be a part of the Illuminati? It's just, you'd have to just assume that uh, Ultron was made by someone else. Or that he's dead, I guess. Or that he doesn't exist in this universe. He just doesn't for some reason. Well, so they they said that Ultron is what makes them think he exists. And I said, you just, you just have to assume that someone else made it. Or he's dead. Right. Yeah, which both of those Or maybe this Tony more. Stark just has a really reserved Or maybe he does exist. He's alive and well, and he's just busy. Yeah, he could be doing yeah. stuff, or maybe he's just, he doesn't like maybe the limelight. Maybe he's not Iron Man. Maybe, maybe he Iron Man. he's going to be the one that goes to Wanda's house and says, what the fuck was that? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Right, when, she, when the innocent Wanda is arrested and convicted <laughs> yeah. uh, for all of the evil Wanda's crimes. And then she says, it wasn't me, and then Mordo even can confirm that she's right. At the same time, though, that she's too big a risk, she can destroy the entire universe, so we got to get rid of it. Yeah. Well, they got rid of Steve for like, uh, not Steve. Yeah, Steven. Yeah, what the hell? Yes, they got rid of Steven. Steven. When you every time you say she's too dangerous, we have to get rid of her. I have to be like, you mean Wanda or America? <laughs> oh, I thought, I thought you were gonna just say that it's Mace Windu. <laughs> she's Mace too Windu. dangerous to be left alive. Mace well, it's just you think of Mace Windu. It's like she's too dangerous Imagine. to be left alive. Alt Captain Marvel, it's Mace Windu instead. He says Captain Windu, and we're all like, not Fury? <laughs> <laughs> no, the Jedi exists in our universe. It's, 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 it's pretty neat. Dude, they could have done that, and we could have been like, man, there's a Captain Marvel continuity where Samuel Jackson became Captain Marvel. Like, whatever. <laughs> that, that, it'd be funny as fuck. See, that's what I think about when I'm told they did it all for laughs. I'm like, so why wouldn't you have fun instead of making it kind of like dour and weird? And the weird part comes in yeah. where it's like, fan cast of Fantastic Four, Reed Richards, John Krasinski, something that everyone's wanted to see, because he they, they believe his personality suits the character perfectly well, and then we, we intro introduce him as the smartest man alive, and then we kill him. And they're like sitting there with their mouth agape, smiling like, yeah, Do you, don't you love it? And you're like, man, everything up to the part where you killed him was pretty cool. And I mean that in concept, not in the actual fucking thing. You're referring to Fan Four Stick? <laughs> uh, didn't the Illuminati kill Strange because he caused an incursion? Uh, no, they killed him because of the potential of what he may do in the future, that's what Carter says. Man, just minority really report. It up. Yeah, they minority reported him, and they're gonna minority report the next one, but mm. they don't get the time to do it. Yeah. Which means they would absolutely minority report Wanda. Uh, yeah. Nice. Um, I hate that scene so much. Well, I hate all of the stuff that happens in the Illuminati. It's the Saturday, folks. Saturday. Be there or be square. No. Be there and be square. Rib band. That's a fun shape. You can't keep getting away with it. <sighs> Wait, no. Professor X says Strange did destroy universes. Alright, so listening comprehension 101. I said oh, no, not again. their motivation, their reason that they kill Doctor Strange or Superior Strange. I think, isn't that the name they're giving him? Superior Strange? Uh, I. I don't Mind know. Thor? The guy in the blue outfit? Uh, I think so. The, uh, uh, he did indeed destroy a universe, and then uh, as a result of that, he renounced the Darkhold, and then he worked with them to find the Book of Vashanti and used it to destroy Thanos, and then they had one threat left to deal with. That's what Professor X says, and then Carter, after the cutscene plays, says um, uh, Doctor Strange is uh, had to be like dealt with because of what he's capable of. And then she ends the sentence with saying what every Doctor Strange may be capable of. And that's what they're there to judge that day. Is if is this Doctor Strange just as potentially bad as their one that they killed him for? They and didn't kill him because... That is to vote yes or no. Yeah, yeah. And, and they didn't kill him because he destroyed a universe by accident. Uh, they killed him because he might do it in the future. Because Doctor Strange always has to be holding the knife. He always has to be with the power. He always has to be making the decisions, and that leads to really bad things happening, which I think 
is really badly done in this film, considering all the things he's done as well. But it's definitely the through line they wanted to have. It's so unfair to this guy as well, that strange, that they like judge him so harshly for destroying another universe when he had no fucking idea that was a potential. Like, it sucks. It really does. But, um, he was like clearly broken by it, and he did everything he could to make things quote unquote better. He had no idea that dream walking, which by the way, he was doing to try and find a solution to Thanos. It's kind of funny that... We have to save America at all costs, though. Because and we cannot he... even entertain the idea that she should kill herself. Because he stumbled on the wrong fucking book, the evil one. That's, like, he has to die now because he made the mistake. Meanwhile, when they get the the light book, the happy book, you can use that for whatever you want and you, you'll be fine. If only he had found the light book. I didn't understand it that way at all. I thought they killed their Doctor Strange because he destroyed universes. Was I dumb dumb? Let me grab... I've written down what she says. Good old Captain Carter. It was actually because um, I think if she hadn't said what she said, there's a, a, a possibility to try and interpret it one way. Um, but she fucks it all up. Oh yeah, there's my note that statue killed Captain Marvel. Classic. Uh, have you guys heard the, um, the argument for why Reed explained to Wanda uh, like what? Well, why she should kill Black Bolt? Have you heard the explanation for that? Because it was I, supposed I to be stupid. It was supposed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Reed Richards is not street smart, so that is entirely in character. Oh, okay. Come on. I just. Come on. I what? Come on. Ah, why here we you... go. What? This no. is the quote from Captain Carter. Tell me this doesn't destroy the entire fucking motivation of they only did it because of what. Uh, because he killed a bunch of people. He says, We made a difficult choice because we knew what he was capable of, what all strangers mm. are capable of. All strangers. Mm. Minority all report. All infinite strangers. All infinite strangers in all the universes. Fuck them. Fuck I mean, the Illuminati. But, They're horrible people. Yeah. Also, like, does isn't this purely predicated on whether or not Strange has access to the Darkhold? No, the, the the logic is he'll always get access to it eventually, and he'll always use it to destroy universes because he's just a terrible person that ultimately. Make, that just doesn't make any sense. It's like, even how, weird. Why, like, why dude, in that's position the position would they even think that he is in every single Strange is going to get a hold of the Darkhold? Well, if you remember, that's the arc of the movie. Is that America Chavez says, "No, not this Strange. He's not like all the others. He's a nice Strange." It's like, fuck you. I hate yeah. this. This is so stupid. You need to kill yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Duke, okay, actually, though. There's, there's Strange agreed to let them kill him. Because yes. He got the dog hole. Oh, dude, them Why killing him. Why would he be? A them killing him was a complete mistake. It makes no fucking sense at all yeah. that they killed him. He was that good. He was that good. Where he's be like, yeah, right now I'll let you kill me because of yeah. the threat that I represent. At that point, they should be like. Oh, like oh. really? Like, yeah, like I'm super dangerous. Like I don't know if I should like exist. This could happen again. That's terrible. Mm -hmm. He is everything that America needed to learn how to be, but doesn't. Yeah. That only explains why she wants to kill our Strange, not why they killed the other one. She says they killed him because of what he was capable of. Just by being a Doctor Strange. That's it. It's not about the fact that like. Uh, they had good reason to believe he was going to destroy the world. In fact, I would say they have the opposite of that, because he had no intention to use the Darkhold ever again, especially after he discovered what result it had. Can't you destroy the Darkhold, or can you yes, just get rid of it? Yes, it'll just, it'll cost you a, a, a person, I guess. Mm. Oh, well. Stab it. <clears throat> Doc Strange, stab it. <laughs> Yeah, just, just have Can a machine. Just... No, just have a machine well, do it. I was it. actually going to say, what yeah. happens if you get a machine to stab it? That's a really great get one question. Of those, get one of those Ultron robots to stab it. Let's what happens it. if do I do the, this? The, nothing, nothing, nothing. The book, we like, just wanted to make sure. recognizes who programmed the machine. And it's like, you must yeah. die now. You're like, whoa, 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 whoa. That was a team. That was a million people programmed that. You're going to kill us all? And the yeah, book's like, true. yes, yeah. maybe. Kill the writer. 
Or you just, you know, you throw it on the ground, and you're like, I just put you on the ground for safekeeping, Darkhold. I am not destroying you. And it looks at him like, okay. And eventually, oh, like, a boulder rolls the... by and crushes it, and it's like, fuck! The, the Mother build, Nature! The building just explodes. <laughs> They put it underneath a bridge that's condemned to be destroyed so they can build a new bridge and he just put it underneath it. This makes me think what would have happened if that sorcerer lady would have used sorceries to just try to book another fucking knife. I think it's fucking hilarious that both of the books are, as Rags put it, weaker than a normal book. It's... Uh... It is interesting, isn't it? Oh no, a little spark! <laughs> <laughs> so, like, oh no, just like a knife. Uh, ev it's so unintuitive to every person who's ever watched any fantasy of any kind. It's like the super amazing ancient spell book is beaten by a, a knife. You're like, <laughs> what? Like, is the knife like the the dragger the the dragger the dragger dra <laughs> the dragon of some insane magical serpent or a, a dagger made from a the tooth of a dragon or a basilisk fang or some bullshit like that? Literally the Harry Potter thing. They're like, oh, right? No, no, it's just just a little sharp piece yep. of metal. Yeah, <laughs> just, you you think yeah, like, uh, was the knife enchanted? Was the knife a knife of, uh, from an ancient cave? You know, just stuff like that. It's like, nope. And, uh, it's not about the knife. The magic the is knife. in you. And someone just said as well, so possible solution for Thanos: be like, be on, be on Titan, and be like, see this? This is the dark hold. I'm gonna beat you with it. And, you know, I fucking sure hope you don't destroy it, though. That would be really bad, because I needed to defeat you. Oh, oh, I dropped it. Oh, no. Oh, it's right next to you. Uh... Oh, shit. Don't look. <laughs> What's that over there? Don't look at it. Don't don't stab it. And the Thanos like, I'm going to stab it. You go, no, 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 don't do that. No, 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 really don't. Don't stab it. You need a special knife to stab it. Yeah, don't use what you've got. That won't work. That won't work. You'll just ruin. You'll just be wasting your time. Many, and many. I know you're a busy man. Prove you wrong, he stabs it, and then he dies, and you're like, ha I got you, Thanos. 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 It, it's so funny how there's so many ways to pronounce it, because uh, Professor X says, uh, Thanos. 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 Did anyone else feel weird <laughs> as fuck seeing the Illuminati just pasted onto Titan as a background? Like, it just looked <laughs> so Looked shit. so bad. Yeah. I just found it funny when they said they were called Illuminati, I just found it hilarious in itself. Illuminumi. It is kind of funny, isn't it? Yeah. That they would use a word with that kind of context? Yeah. Well, it's supposed to be... It's in the comics, so that's probably why they didn't think... I mean, yeah, but I was not aware of that. I was like, really? They called them Illuminati? Did I hear that wrong? It's like yeah, no, because I, I understand as well. <laughs> I think they were hoping the um, the knowledge that the Illuminati or a group in the comics would outweigh any other interpretation of what is being evoked there. That is an a, that is a desire. It's bold. Yeah. That is a that is a desire of the heart indeed. Uh, they did my boy, Mr. Fantastic, dirty. John Krasinski looked <laughs> awesome in the part. It, 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 yes. What else can you say? Yes. Uh, that whole scene, I was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> what a mess. What, what was your reaction to that when you first saw it in Cinema Mel? Confusion, it, like, I guess. To, to just all of it, it's like, yeah. oh, look, all these... Because <laughs> everyone in the cinema was like, oh, look, it's those characters. Oh, mmm. And mm -hmm. then it just all died. <laughs> and yep. I was just like, whoa, people will not, not be happy pleased. about that. <laughs> My theater was a bunch of seals clapping and everything, and they did not like that scene. <laughs> I couldn't believe what was happening. It was like, oh, we get like a fight, and it was like, blah, 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 blah. I was like, yeah, like, why would, <laughs> why like, would you oh. do this? Why would you do oh, that? Okay. Why, why? You know, people will hate this. What she did yeah, to, was, uh, to read was insane. fucking cruel, man. Dude, it's like, bruh, 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 bruh. it's like, oh shit, can he like recover from this? I don't know what his powers are, and then just see his head part go like pop. I was like, oh no, I think he's not gonna recover from that. <laughs> <laughs> he tore him uh, the ends of his limbs first. Like, woman, yeah. you wanted to make him feel pain, didn't you? What did and he do to you just... except say, please stop, I have a family? Yeah, and the other two are just fucking watching. Ah, <laughs> uh, but you see, it's the dark hole that corrupted her, okay? She's not responsible for anything she does in this movie. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, so my bad. Even though she goes on an arc that appeals to her, the dark hole doesn't have any effect on that. Dude, that fucking Wanda in that universe is gonna feel so awful. Oh yeah, I think so. Well, but then again, reasons. she just went home right after. She, I don't think she even checked on anything. So I don't know. Right away. I mean, and also like, 
I don't know, would you not be traumatized by one, you had your, like, autonomy stolen from you, yep. and you know that that's a possibility just in life. That's got to be really scary. Second, yeah. even though it wasn't you, you're probably going to feel some level of guilt for what happened because you existed and oh, physically yeah. you did that. Uh, and also, just you know, your family's in jeopardy, right? Like hardcore. Mm. You, yeah. Well, yeah. The, the she fact... needs to uh, leave the country and change her name and get all the new identities immediately uh, mm -hmm. to escape all of this. Yeah. She needs to pull a Black Widow. Mm. But better. Yeah, but I think we'll get into that pl a plenty on Saturday. Yeah, wanna... what we just did there was just the small version. <laughs> this is a small version. Uh, the part in the tunnel where they just randomly stopped for a good minute just to see if Wanda was still after them made everyone in the audience mad. <laughs> it's, it's throughout the movie, man. They do that all the time. Yeah, it's they're really chillaxed. Crazy. Really, really chill. It's unbelievable it. to me that they're literally being chased by her. They establish that the water will not stop her, and then they gawk at the book. They're like, ooh, shiny. No. Salvation of the multiverse right in front of you, just saying. <sighs> they don't even close the door behind them, do they? Nope. No. Oh. Someone said, of course they didn't, because they didn't know how to get out. I was like, they have a book with infinite spells. They can teleport. <laughs> My favorite parts of the movie are when Doctor Strange didn't cast a spell to make Wanda forget she had children, and Wanda forgot come vision existed. Overall, 3 out of 10, no Nicolas Cage Ghost Rider. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's, it's, it just goes on and on and on and on and on. How many, yeah. many ways this movie shouldn't have been able to happen. Like, cause and effect wise. Those are one of those movies that are just... Get worse every time we talk about it. And it's like, can yeah. it get worse? No, surely not. And it's like, oh, but what about this part? It's like, oh no, it is worse. <laughs> I love the scene where Wanda kills the Illuminati. Key jangling cameo character slaughtered equals me happy. <laughs> I mean, the fact that they're killed so quickly is what makes them key janglers instead of oh uh, yeah, like meaningful additions to the script. Um, if Ozzy is real, then why is it not in the Bible? <laughs> Explain that checkmate. one. Checkmate. Yeah, checkmate. Y'all sure it wasn't Rise of Palpatine? Not sure if they're asking us what the worst movie is, or least continuity movie. But um, yeah, I, I think... Palpatine. You don't understand, mm -hmm. guys. I really do think that by the time we get through it on Saturday that... Most people will conclude, like, I don't know a movie that has this much discontinuity, if that's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> also, hello, James Moore. Thanks for everything. Yeah, he's, uh, oh, yeah. Moderating absolutely. right now. Look at him go. Him and Even Thunder. Fan bots at bay. Yeah. Missed opportunity to call it Doctor Stranger. And then call the next one Doctor Strangest. Strangest. <laughs> Uh, the Illuminati was terrible fan service. Why add this fan favorite character to your movie only to denigrate them as incompetent idiots who fail utterly against the villain? It's a choice you can make. I uh, wouldn't recommend it though. Day three. Probably it's... because the audience doesn't know anything about competence and they don't care. Uh, but they understand that a character getting like killed in front of their face like that, like even their stupid minds will be able to <laughs> comprehend that and not like it. So yeah. Well, who are you talking about? People who really, really would, uh, like, general audiences who might be really happy with seeing these characters. So the writers would be like, oh, yeah, they'll really, really like these cameos of all these characters coming in. They'll love to see them. And yeah, we're going to make sure to put to... them in the trailer as well. So they, they all, all come consume. Yeah, we, we don't have to worry about writing them well or anything like that. Because they'll, they'll just clap at anything because we showed it to them. But they simultaneously didn't think that, oh, yeah, maybe having them die like this is just really going to tick them off well, i yeah. think the the most classic example of like fucking up in that particular way is luke skywalker and tlj they did not expect general audiences to be as pissed off with that as as they got and i think the next example would have been game of thrones where daenerys did the thing they were probably like oh shit they won't just accept our story they're actually getting mad uh hmm. game of thrones is still such an interesting thing to think about but for, dec for a decade, people were like, yeah, you gotta watch it, you gotta watch it. And then the last season comes out and nobody wants to talk about it anymore. It's just gone. Yeah, we got House of the Dragon now, okay? Cool new kid on the block. Is, is that like the new thing that's coming out? It is. Oh. Mm. 
Day three of so reciting Max Soul's Bloodborne video to get you to watch it. Side note, what are some games you like from genres you don't normally play? Also, hi, Rex. Hi. Uh, I can um, go first, I guess. I, yeah, I, sure. I don't normally play point and clicks. I don't find them very interesting. Um, but I love the room games, which are definitely point and clicks. Um, like, oh, I love them yeah, a lot. I thought about that, actually, yeah. <laughs> and so I realized very quickly that it's not about me not liking point and click. It's just I haven't played what I probably assume to be good ones. Um, that's, that's as simple as that. I just It's just right. not a genre where I'm like, oh, I'd like to play a new point and click game. You know? I'm, I'm not big into horror stuff, but no, I played Soma and uh, 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 Amnesia, and I really like those two. Soma's not uh -huh. horror games. Ah, uh, well, I then just Soma. <laughs> Joseph Anderson. <laughs> Classic. Oh, her, her game. Um, I don't like fighting games, but I like Super Smash Bros. Mm. Alright, bring you last up. What was the question? What's a genre you tend to not really engage with or enjoy, but a game from it that you really do like? Uh, a game. Okay. Um... I don't tend to play horror games uh, much of it all. Um, I liked Resident Evil 2 Remake, but that probably doesn't count. That's probably like an action game more so than a horror game. Um, I probably... And I haven't played that one I'm supposed to play yet, so I can't say. <laughs> probably counts as horror. Um, yeah. Maybe to some extent. I would say yeah. so. Check the Wikipedia. That's the proof. <laughs> <laughs> Vicky Weedia. Um. Yeah. Really. To accomplish said Herculean task, the player must journey through the dark forest, terrifying nightmares, and the meth ridden alleyways of post Brexit Britain. I, I feel like this is like the second half of a super chat that doesn't exist. But, alright. <laughs> like, this I, is I, like uh, the little steam blurb on some indie yeah, game yeah. of people who thought that Brexit would be the end of civilization. Well, I liked, um. Uh, someone said on Twitter that um, Elden Ring, like being able to explore explore the Welsh countryside while Bloodborne is like trying to escape England. Like I, I like I like that. that... Oh yeah, tell that to Z Xavier's snapped neck. Oh. Oh. I wonder if he's gonna come back again. The card? Um, well, we know he's coming back, but, uh, Professor, will he be coming back? Uh. I don't know. Day of the day, October 16th, 1962. Oh, okay. All right. That's an interesting thing. Day of the day. Um, watch. I thought it was today, but I was, uh, I was wrong. Hmm. Watch Legion, Charles Xavier, is played by Harry Lloyd. Oh, I like Harry Lloyd. Well, from Game of Thrones and Hamish Linklater from Midnight Mass is a mutant hunter in the show. What is Legion again? I feel like I hear about it every once in a while and I'm like, what is happening with that show? I do not know. Wow, you're the one guy who I expected to know. I, I Normally I know all about Legion, but yeah. I just forgot. I just don't know today. Fair enough. Uh... Slaying monsters, exploring, and tricking women into being impregnated by gods you can consume the child. That's all this nice. says. Where is this? What is happening? This feels like a, that was part of the other one. These are all in order, by the way. Um, they are chronological. Is, is, that a, is that a, um, Alex Jones thing? Oh, maybe. And what does he say? Does he say consume the child? I think so. It's fucking, yeah, some of that stuff is amazing. We look like the song remixes of the things he said. Are always... They are typically pretty good. Uh, I'm fluent in both English and Spanish. Can't stand it when people pick a language and go with it. When they can't pick a language and go with it. Um, it is weird, yeah. And it's usually always done in like a smug way whenever I see it in these movies. Like me. Instead of, ooh, I can speak a language. Nah, 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 nah. It's like, uh, I don't care. Good that's, for that's you. Neat. Let me know when that's relevant. Oh, corrupt them all. Yeah, that's definitely a line from him. Uh, 
As a Hydra fan, I enjoyed the film and hope Wanda returns with Hydra. Really enjoyed the fight against the Illuminates. Hail Hydra. I can see Hydra fans enjoying it, yeah. Hydra, like, helped make her. Like, man, she's working out great. This game is an excellent realization of a Metroidvania with something new around every corner. A great action RPG which pits you against insurmountable odds and extreme challenges. See, see what I mean about like how that seems like the second of four? But now we're eventually going to find yeah. the one that introduces whatever this game is, I assume. Um, why speak Spanish even though Thanos spoke English? Oh, wait, I think sorry. English is just the concession that a lot of movies make. Um, I guess but a, anything. Of, it is amusing though, right? Like all yeah. of the languages of Earth are available for all of Earthlings, but everyone outside of Earth speaks English. Good choice. We know why it's happening, but it's okay. Oh. Bringo, your endgame video was great. Super funny, well edited, and clearly communicated points. Really enjoyed it. Also, salutations, Rags. Yeah, well. Thanks. Remember when Strange was fine with killing five strangers to save the multiverse? Interesting, huh? Okay, I guess we'll bring out this point, because someone's prompted it now. Um, something that bugs me is that Strange's arc in the first film, he, and this is actually, there's some stuff in, in the first Doctor Strange that's really good. Um, he, when he has his retarded fucking astral plane fight with that guy, and he gets hit with a fucking um, defibrillator and he sends the electricity into his astral plane body to then fire it at the other astral plane body. That shit is the funniest thing ever in terms of mechanics, like how does that work? But he dies from that. When Strange gets fixed up and goes back, he sees the body of the guy and takes his pulse and then gets up and he's just, he's not a happy guy and he puts on his uh, cloak again. It's like a hero shot. And then when he talks to, um, Ancient One, he says, uh, um, she, cause she, she says something like, you should be, uh, Master Strange, like, Lord of the fucking Sanctum, because the Sanctum holder of this one died. And he's like, I am not Master Strange, I am Doctor Strange. And then he goes on a rant about the Hippocratic Oath, because it's meaningful to him, of course. And, um, he says, I have just taken a man's life. Like, that, that's, you know, it, it matters to him a lot, basically. And she says, um, some, she says some line that amounts to basically, sometimes we do have to break some of these rules in order to save the world, the universe, basically. And, um, I'm pretty sure that gets to him pretty hardcore, because if you guys remember, that film ends with him defeating Dormammu at the cost of sending Kaecilius and all of his men into, like, permanent torture. It's not pretty. There's like, you're gonna become part of the one forever, eternally, and you're not gonna like it. And do you remember what happens to them? They have like one of the scariest looking fates in the MCU without they breaching like any They like disintegrate kind of... and turn into... They, the... they, they like lose all of their features. They look like they've rotted away like instantly to like black skeleton type things. And I'm pretty sure they're screaming as well, at least thing, you know, pain noises. I can't quite remember, but who knows what exactly has happened to them. Basically, they have to go to save the universe. He made that choice. I don't know anybody who's going to be arguing against it. Fucking Mordo tries, but that was always kind of just funny. Um, so, like, to take that, then to put him through, like, all this shit that happened in the other movies, and then to make this movie about, like, maybe you were wrong that you should kill someone to save the universe. And, like, I just don't think maybe that they every... have any kind of yeah, meaningful thoughts about die. that in this film at all. They just present it, and they do the thing. It's a complete cop-out where they're like, what if you don't have to do that? And then he's like, yeah, okay, I won't. And then it works out. No reason to think it would work out. It just does. And like, Christine trying to point out that that's his problem. Like, doing these big decisions to help save the world because they lead to like bad things happening. And I just, I just want them to address as though the, f the first movie or Infinity War and Endgame, whatever else, is like... Infinity will handle this so much better, man. You have to save the universe man. or everyone dies. It's just one of those simple things you don't feel like you should have to explain to somebody, but apparently we do. If you are in the universe and you have to kill someone to save it, I mean, yeah, do it. 
Well, I, I guess it's the problem of it's nice that in your film you can contrive that like that, that they'll win no matter what but in the real world people get forced to make hard decisions sometimes and they don't like and this um, is why let's let's maturely explore that concept of you know consequentialism versus you know principled decision making you know like put someone in a position where they have to meaningfully think about the choices that they make and why and how do they live with them instead of just saying well no it works out in the end you know you, you can you don't have to make hard choices because the universe will bend and contort to your whims or whatever your theme is because I find that yeah. Infinity War is the true ending, right? When people say, like, Endgame's the ending, it's like, let's pick Infinity War instead, all right? It's a, it's a way better ending. Especially with how all of our heroes are just desperately trying to find any other way to save the world that doesn't involve losing people they love. And then to end it with Vision's corpse and Cap just fucking staring at it, knowing that he could have made that happen and we would have still had half of the lives of the universe. Mm -hmm. Like, to me, that's infinitely more meaningful to have it be that it's like, fine, Cap, we won't sacrifice all uh, the individual for the greater amount of people, but you have to own the result, which is that half the fucking universe has now been deleted. Yep. And he just has to sit there, think about that. It's a really powerful ending, but we, we, don't, we, don't, we don't do that. Instead, we go, you. okay, the multiverse is at stake, sure, but hear me out, America, believe in yourself. Okay. At least in Infinity War, they actually had a shot in terms of, like, if we can just delay long enough, we can get the gem out of his head and thus save him. Yeah. Frustrating. Um, Frustrating. This is part of what I'm going to say is, like, like these... This movie has... Um, how do I even put this? It has, like... I was about to say ideas, and I'm just like, I don't even know if it's an idea. It's so poorly formed. It's like a thought about yeah, stuff. Yeah, what's the idea? Like, if I was to expl if I was to try and elaborate on that idea or explain it in words, like, could I? What's the idea? Idea's a thing. Conceptual, it may be, but it's... it's Hence it's, describing it's... it as a thought and saying something along the lines of, the film thinks maybe it isn't good when you sacrifice a person to save everyone. And it's that's like the vibe that I get from the movie. And well, and, and, and it's like, okay, give me more. And the movie's like, that's all I got. That's it. That's it. That's just that's just true. That's just that's just true. And, yeah, and I just if you want to try and challenge that idea, it's like you're gonna to need to do a hell of a lot more than that. And I, I guess the way you try and do it is that Doctor Strange starts to jump the gun, and whenever something like this happens, assumes someone's gonna to have to die in order to blah blah blah. When there's like other options he never considers or something. Because that's- if someone wanted to argue that's what the film's doing, I'd be like, fuck no. Annoying. Um, I think the first movie did a way better job, and I don't even think it's that good. The first Doctor Strange? No, I don't think it's good, but I like Doctor Strange. He clearly goes on some kind of a journey and learns things from people. Um... Why does Wanda have powers in another universe? Does she always get experimented on? You just have to assume that in this one she was there and she had her powers. So I suppose you could argue that's her lucking out. It is yeah. lucking out. If I not, found my Wanda in this it. multiverse. Her past is the same as mine, and her powers are the same as mine. Well, in the multiverse that Doctor Strange ended up in, of all of the ones he could have, what would she have done if they landed in the paint universe and just decided to hang out there <laughs> forever? Well, yeah, because is there a Wanda paint that she could have jumped into? I guess so. Who has what well, chaos paint powers? Olympic. Well, um, yeah, I don't disagree with that at all. The idea that this Wanda is just a normal girl, she never got the uh, the gem thing. Well, then again, uh, she's a witch at base, according to Wanda Vision. So, in this well, case, we're like, witch. She just, yeah. like, maybe she wouldn't even know she was a witch, right? Well, if she yeah, never discovers yeah. that she's a witch, then, she, yeah, sure, she's a witch, but it's like Harry Potter, if if, if he was just left with uh, the, the Dursleys, well, uh, that was her name. Why would we, like, they, they, they make it seem as though it's just a guarantee that there will be a version of everyone, when it's like, well, no. It's, you know when no, they're like, we gotta really find not. this universe Doctor Strange, it's like, you don't even, he might not even be in this one. 
Yeah. Why would we assume he's in every single one of them? Like, that's a weird assumption. But the nature of, like, you know, literally a... Cause and effect. Yeah, just, that's know? just not a... Yeah. And so, yeah, it's frustrating that, like... Imagine she had to dreamwalk into her, and then she's just like, I have no powers, what the fuck? And it's like, yeah, you're not a witch in this one. You're not a anything. She has to come to terms with what it's like to be powerless, maybe. You can't just leave a dreamwalk. You have to actually live that, live in it for just, for, for a while. Like, oh shit, this is what it's like to be actually powerless. Wow, I feel so vulnerable and weak, and ha is this how people feel when I keep doing, fucking... Doing all the little hand and movements and nothing happens, and she's like, oh man. Kids walk in. It's like, Mom, are you? Do you have the palsy? What's wrong mm -hmm. with you? Are you okay? No, she lucked out. She always does. Um. Uh, yeah, sorry. So they, they were just saying, like, remember when he was fine with that to save the 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 universe? Yeah. The the implication is he's gone on some kind of arc in this film to learn that he shouldn't be doing that. But I'm just like, from where fuck. to where and how? That's what I mean. I think they skipped all of it and you just, the, the, you, as a, you're supposed to just fill the blanks in. It's the same for the are you happy stuff. I don't think they did anything meaningful with that. The, the film was filled no. with bullshit traveling around doing crazy shit. There was barely any talking in it. Whenever there is, it gets interrupted pretty quickly by someone crashing into something. Um, something I'm, I think I'm conceding on as being a problem for Marvel now is the, uh, the whole, they don't want you to, they don't want to have a particular feeling last too long thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, they don't like it. And I think we were lucky as fuck to get the tragedy feeling as long as we did in No Way Home. Um, after Arme dies. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. That's true. For arguably one of the strongest point of the movie in terms of just like, wow, this is, oh, heavy stuff. Yeah, it's like the film was like this is no joke sort of thing. It's like, mm -hmm. meanwhile in this film, like, you remember the Gargan, Gargan toss fight? Um, when Wong is cut down from the uh, the tentacle, the music like hardcore switches into ill kind of funny jokey music, and they they both have the little conversation. It's like we were just like seconds ago doing dramatic action where Doctor Strange could maybe have died, and same for Wong. But now we've like switched over tracks just in case like that's getting too heavy for anybody. And that does yeah. seem to be like <laughs> what Marvel does now, which is pretty fucking weird. Because it's a bit nebulous, the whole it's uh, it's another one of those Marvel films. But if we can maybe start to nail down what the key attributes are and then actually have references for it, I feel like it'll be much more clear for people listening and stuff. But I think that's a thing that happens and it gets to be pretty frustrating. Uh, Sony, not Marvel. Um, I mean, it is a Sony film, but it is a co-production with Marvel Studios. Because, yeah, well, because the funny thing is, I was about to say, like, but, like, No Way Home still has some of that stuff in it. Mm -hmm. But, like, I, you know. Also, Sony made Morbius and Venom, <laughs> so, like, don't forget that. Yeah, let's not pretend that if Sony makes it, it's going to be way better. Like, this is... You go on. Um... Yeah, and this one's just, see, this one just says, and has a gripping story and lore about discovering the eldritch truth, so if you can, play it yourself, because I'm not going to hold back on the details. Yeah, they're, they're talking about some game, I'm not sure what it is yet, I'm sure we'll find out. Yeah, I, I don't know, yeah. Bringy, I have a problem with your new vid. It left me unsatisfied, in contrast to Mauler's vids that have me content and willing to wait months for the next one. Ironic, considering most are in parts. <laughs> they didn't say anything else, that's all they've said. I assume yeah, they're saying they're unsatisfied because yours has an ending. Oh, uh, maybe. <laughs> yeah, it should have been all middle. I've trained them to expect that the videos never end. Right. I think we got multiple references out of that. Uh, I don't know if that means you've done you've done something wrong or if you've done something really right, but I need more. Also, play DDLC with Dumbos. No. Oh damn! I was just straight up said no. No. Afternoon. I want to play your stanky game. Afternoon or whatever hour it is for you, gents. I'm curious on how many people in this community are on the TISM spectrum. From what I can tell, you guys attract quite a lot of us. Thanks, men high rags. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> purely coincidental. We don't go out of our way to, uh, but we welcome all the 
I mean, I don't think it's offensive to say that, like, uh, autism can often lead to, like, uh, detail-oriented sort of viewpoints, right? Like, the, uh, an, in an interest in sort of uh, how things come together in some ways, I think. I think this is a I connection. So. Yeah, I think it certainly can. Um, I have not been tested for autism, so I have no idea. I've not been tested, and I never will. I have nothing to gain from that. Oh yeah, I guess that's that, that's the thing to put on the end of that. I don't care if I'm autistic or not. I was just like, all right. If I'm if I'm autistic, then I mean, hey, all right, that doesn't change anything. No, I'm still. Me. What I can do, it gives me a cudgel to beat people with whenever they make fun of me. Oh yeah, well, I guess that's. No, it. it gives me a weapon because current year. I was like, you made fun of an autistic person. I am first off neurodivergent, so watch yourself. All right. I'm already neurodivergent. I have uh, dyslexia. That counts. It does. It it actually it does. I had to believe it or not. I googled that yesterday while I was working on my video to see if uh, being dyslexic counted as neurodivergent, and indeed it does. Ha! I'm just German. Sorry. So chat's right. Don't be neurotypicalist. Yes. Also, it ends with thanks and high rags. Oh, uh, you're welcome and hello. You have to pick one. Every MCU movie will be nonsense fun, like Doctor Strange 2, or serious and pretentious, like Falcon the Winter Soldier. Oh, Doctor Strange 2. Ooh, Doctor Strange 2. <laughs> uh, At least Doctor Strange 2 had some legit fun visuals. Yeah. And things, you know, but, don't but Cap Falcon and the Winter Soldier made us angry. It was it was definitely pissing me off Falcon and the Winter Soldier quite a bit. Um, while this film, like, it... I do kind of hate this film a lot um, for many reasons, but a lot of them are more so just like what it represents in a sense, like how you can make a movie this incomprehensible and then get a Star Wars movie to follow up. Like, okay. Um, but I don't know. Yeah, like uh, at least we get the... Though I will say, we got Zemo and Walker out of uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier. We did, yeah. But that's actually something to think about in, in a sense. Makes you wonder, how'd y'all manage that? Oh man, I don't know. At that point, I don't want to deal with either of them. You know, like either result. I, I have to hate all of them, but enjoy some characters. Or I have to think it's all worthless except for everything other than the script. I don't like either of those worlds at all. Come on, Captain Marvel was way worse. No. <laughs> Captain Marvel had beautiful simplicity. Well, step one is Black Widow is worse than Captain Marvel. So, once we get over that hurdle, uh, we can do the next one, I guess. Yeah. If they bring back Walker, they better not mess him up. Dude, I wouldn't be surprised if he's just a straight up bad guy the next time we see him. It'll make no sense. Why not? They do with everything. Yeah, I've decided that I no longer know which I would prefer of those two worlds. I'm too terrified to decide. Too terrified. Oh. Um, it's easy to know the difference between wizards and witches and sorcerers from Falcon Cap. Wizards are sorcerers with hats and Wanda did have a headpiece. It's not a hat. I feel like it was just like a little... It's a not, tiara, it wasn't even it? like a... It's, it's sort of, kind of a tiara that went over her face. I don't think I'd, I wouldn't consider that a hat. Like, I can see how a video game might have that in its hat category, but it ain't no hat. Well, you said sort of a tiara. Does, why would you not think it's a tiara? Because cause I think there's a focus on it coming down. On, like, it's almost like a mask where it comes down on the front of the face, but there's just a little bit of it. I, think I might be wrong, like, but I thought ti tiaras can go on, like, the forehead as well as the head. Well, um, I'm thinking about how so much of it comes down in the front of the face. Oh, like down in... Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, so... Like, it might technically be a tiara with that really weird thing on the front that's like a, like a semi-mask. But oh, it, people it's, are saying it's tough. Headpiece? Is that legit the actual name for it? Headpiece? I mean, I, I wouldn't... I disagree with a headpiece. It just doesn't sound very... It's very broad. It's hmm. an odd thing to wear. I wouldn't wear it. I feel like it would get. I, mean, I guess it would keep hey, the hair out of my eyes. She thinks it looks to look eyes. cool. Right. Oh. Well, that's yeah, even more maybe. embarrassing. Hey. <laughs> oh. She'll beat you up, Mel. She'll, yeah, she'll, she'll turn you into spaghetti. 
Yeah, oh, I love spaghetti. spaghetti. Yeah, but you don't want to be spaghetti. You, you don't know that. You only turn spaghetti if you're a beloved character. I have spaghetti on me right now. Because <laughs> I want to be spaghetti. Oh no, the Germans and Italians are teaming up again. <laughs> Let's go! Oh no. EFAP, watch Memento before you become my John G. Okay. It is one of Nolan's most impressive works. Theo, have you seen it? Penny, for your thoughts. I don't know if Theo's seen it. Um, I've seen it, and I Wait, like what, it. What was it? Memento. Memento. It's famous for being a film that is essentially viewed backwards. It, let's say it has 30 scenes. You view them 30, 29, 28, 27, until you hit number one. Um, and you... <laughs> <laughs> when I put in Memento in Google, it just says Memento Pizza. <laughs> I don't think that's pizza the one. Pizza is just like this. No, it's just like pizza because you're already collaborating with the Italians and it auto uh -uh. it. It's like you on a pizza, right? <laughs> they know all about me. I almost said too broad. I don't want to spoil it. Um, I recommend checking it out. It's a very interesting uh, way to do a movie. And there is a story and characters and everything. Um... Uh, as for Nolan, one of most Nolan's impressive works, probably. Um, to be fair, he's he's impressive with basically everything he's made, for all kinds of reasons. You know, Interstellar is impressive. <laughs> it's definitely <laughs> impressive. <laughs> I, 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 I'm saying it's a couple, but the, the the soundtrack, the cinematography, the 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 miniatures they use to, you know, there's lots of stuff really neat it's your fault that's not the things i think about every time that's mentioned. i know <laughs> Dude, i ruined it for duma <laughs> <laughs> you made the mistake of watching the film with me uh, i wish i would have been there it would have been fun it, it's, uh, i recorded it it's good obviously with his consent it's just that it's gonna be used yeah. one day for me carrying into that movie it's gonna happen one day uh, it's gonna be a a, a good day I'm looking forward to that. But can she beat Goku, though? Probably. I don't see film. anybody that could beat her at all. I like that they even established, like, oh, Spooky Spirit Strange can beat her. Uh, no, he can't. Like, oh. Right. I don't know why Spooky Strange cool. Spirits would be able to beat her anyway. And then I don't know why, if you're going to establish that he can, that he can't. Seconds later. So is the power levels are absolutely. I don't even know what the first film in the MCU where I was like the power levels are getting fucked up, but they have been so fucked up. They're gone now. I don't know what anything yeah. means anymore when oh. characters fight. I'm just like, who does the yeah. plot need to win? I guess. It's not actually about anything. Um. Reed Richards will become the Pirate King one day. <laughs> Anime. <laughs> Why didn't Wanda just dreamwalk for eternity? Uh, they said you couldn't do it forever, right? Well... Yeah, but that's not why she for doesn't. Person, she doesn't right? because she would rather be her than dreamwalk, I think. Yeah. I would assume. That's why she's I would assume, it. yeah, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be the same because she knew that she'd be co-opting. I'm willing to believe. Like it, yeah. it wouldn't be the same, yeah. I want to be me when I'm with my kids, not like a different version of me. But you are right that um, well, that... I was about to get into it, but you know what? We'll get into it Saturday. Uh... <laughs> oh man, I can't wait to see all the crazy multiverses Doctor Strange goes to. Spends ninety percent of the time in a glass box in one universe, and ten percent that has nothing to do with anything in the film except Doctor Strange, but bad. Sorry, maybe, maybe I read that wrong. 10% in another that has nothing in it except Doctor Strange, but... Oh, you mean Evil Doctor Strange, right, yeah. Well, yeah, they, uh, those are the two main universes people cite as being different from the our one. One of them being there's a lot of um, foliage, and there's the lights have been switched in color, and there's a memory store. That is... And it's free, like the food. That is that... Well, the food isn't free in that world, right? Pizza Papa gets fucking pissed off. Yeah. I thought he got upset because he stole the cape. He nope. must have stolen the cape. No, he, he wanted because she stole he the like, pizza. 
But he also I gets upset about that. Yeah. That's actually the first why, thing we'll be is talking it about. Why is stealing? Hmm? Why is... She's just a stealer. She's just a thief. He steals. That's the second instance of her stealing something that I know mm. of. There might be more. No, no, more. Well, I think she even says that uh, rule number two is always get food, and then she says that food is, as far as she's aware, food's always free. So yeah, she probably steals a lot, actually. She, she even says food is. She says food is free in most uh, universes, which is actually mm. worse because. If that means that she's aware that there's a chance that the food will not be free, then why the fuck does she say all of this shit and steal it after saying rule one is never assume anything? I was about to yeah. say that, yeah. Yeah, that's why I brought it up. She the very know. tiny pieces of characterization is already contradicted. You're like, ah. Good job, you did it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they completely okay. wasted being in the multiverse. Yep. Or in a film, you know, that regards them. They really did. And it's not about cameos, for fuck's sake. It's no. about leveraging interesting worlds that have either minor or major variables that the heroes have to account for. Has anyone Red seen... The green was reversed, though, so that's cool. It's mm. very interesting. Has anyone seen the Wachowski movie Cloud Atlas? I've seen it two times lately, and I can't decide whether it's a load of pretentious rubbish or a cinematic masterpiece, if you ignore the yellow face stuff. I can't believe that's in that. Insane. But, um, as for... I think I only saw it once and I didn't care that much about it. I'm assuming you guys have seen it? Not oh. seen Cloud Atlas Shrugged. Uh, wait, what? Cloud Atlas. Cloud Atlas Shrugged. <laughs> Why did it... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, hi, Rags. Hi. The movie thinks Wanda redeemed herself in the end, but did she really? No. I'm willing no. to say that the movie isn't necessarily saying that. It's just really awkward when you have Doctor Strange saying, or she said, uh, fucking whatever her name, Christine says, she did the right thing, and he's like, yes. It's like, It almost mm. feels like you have two competing writers who are, one is trying to make her the villain, and the other is trying to say, no, 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 she's fine. I just think it's sneaky to be like, she did the right thing. You're like, I, I, well... What are you saying? Like, overall? And he's like, I'm saying he did the right thing. Please, leave me alone. <laughs> you like, in killing yourself? Do you think it was the right move for her to kill herself, then? Is that what you said? Like, this is, I don't know. Would it be the right thing for America to kill herself? I don't know. I think she... Well, she even uh, volunteers for that, but then he's like, nah, use belief in yourself. Yeah, finally at the very end. But then she gets a, yeah believe in yourself. Uh, out of context, Rags quote. I've had my tongue in people's assholes and we don't even have that kind of connection. It's true. It's very true. Sam Raimi should take a break from big blockbusters and make a good old back to basics horror movie. I'm just tired of MCU outside of Spider-Man. Um... Anything that was nifty that he brought to this movie was squandered by the horrific writing. It would be really cool, yeah, to see him do, like, the, an Army of the Darkness type of situation. I would fucking eat it up. But I... I Absolutely. I don't think we're going to get it uh, with whatever he does with them next. Because assuming, I'm assuming this is just the beginning. I'm going to watch Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness now with a friend who's obsessed with the MCU. Wish me luck. Also, high fridge. I'm guessing that's for me. And I hey. assume so, yeah. Well, you know, hope you had fun, I guess. Uh, is Strange's cloak related to Aladdin's flying carpet? Perhaps it's a whole family tree of sentient textiles. Maybe. Oh, maybe. Hey, I want to go to that universe. Yeah. I want to go to Rug World. I have cities but no houses, mountains but no trees, water but no fish. What am I? I have mountains but no tree. I am. I have mountains but no trees. So maybe uh, they copy you're, paste it. You're, so I can... uh, you're Mars, right? Oh. Is there water on Mars? Uh, wait, what, no. they, what was the, Could you read was, the whole thing out again? I think it was ice. Yeah, oh, could wait. you maybe paste it? Read so the I whole thing out. I have cities, but no houses, mountains, but no trees, water, but no fish. 
Oh, I thought it was seas, but no fish, because you can say, because, like, the moon and Mars have areas that are, like, described as seas. Oh, well, I looked at the chat, so I know the answer now. It's a map. Uh, oh, a map! Yeah, look at chat, it's except good. For, I like that. Except for those maps that have, like, little trees on them. <laughs> yeah, they're awesome. Well, those aren't... I guess you could say that... Also, the, 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 the maps that have, like, the serpent, you know, wrapped around the thing in the bottom. It's not a fish, it's a serpent. Gosh. Clearly, okay, very what about the ones where they have little fish on the map? You know? Oh, those ones don't. Yeah, they don't get. I guess what I'm saying is that there are there are maps that meet all of those criteria. There are, but don't worry. I appreciate your clever little riddle. I enjoy that. I, I liked that it. Like, nice. too. I thought that was neat. Yeah, yeah, it's, it is neat. See, Fringy did the right thing. Um, Drunk Doctor Strange. Hey everybody, a giant tentacles monster who likes calamari. And a one, and a two, and a three. Take me out to the ball game. Is that a song that I'm really with? Take me out to the ball game. Oh, it's that, yeah, right. Crowd. I know the tune, I don't know the words. So, Buy me some peanuts and crackers, right, Jack. Right, you're, you're American. How, how popular is baseball in America? Pretty popular. Is it more popular than the NBA and the NFL? I don't think so at this point. I think they've both, in terms of like viewers and stuff, I think they've overtaken it, but I'm not certain. Right. I would say the biggest sport is probably football and then basketball, but it's it's really tough to say because they're all still pretty prominent. Baseball is like America's pastime. It's yeah, like, well, it's unfortunate yeah. that America's pastime is the most boringest sport ever. That's yeah. true. Well, I mean, I, I, uh, I personally prefer basketball a lot more than baseball, and uh, also I, your version of football. I really like going to a baseball game more than watching really any other sport in person, because I've watched basketball games and football games and stuff live in the stadium. But there's something about baseball. You just get this vibe. This It's a wonderful atmosphere and I like it more than any other sport to watch. Though I will say, watching volleyball games is very entertaining because that's a, that's a fun sport to watch. It's very easy to track what's happening and what, what you know, there's a good anticipatory aspect of, you know, what's, you know, what's gonna happen when they try to send it back, you know, that thing, so. I like watching I would tennis. Say that, I mean, I, I, uh, I could not tell you, like, what oh, makes a sport more or less enthralling. I like tennis, when but it's I the, like the pros. Wow. Dude, I fucking it's like just, watching uh, snooker with the pros. Well, one of the things that's fun with tennis is when you have a game that lasts like five hours because they're so evenly matched. Mm. Like it's just oh yeah, and they're just dying players. trying to keep keep it all up. Yeah, like it's it's not very fun to watch tennis when it's just people getting aces all the time. It's a lot more entertaining when um they have to do uh rallies that just keep going. Well, have you guys ever watched hyper professional snooker? No, I haven't. No, is that the thing with the really long stick and the... With yeah. Pool, right? Pool. Well, pool and snooker are two different games, but yes. I don't think it's Oh, is snooker played on a, a, a billiards table? Did you say snooker? <laughs> snooker? Is that what you said? you say snooker. Snooker? Well, I don't want to... Well, I mean... <laughs> That's what you'd... I don't want to get us in. demonetized, but... Um, <laughs> Fucking hell, are people I, actually I, asking me what with... snooker is? Am I? I don't is that know. Really, what, really what is British that? or something? Well, I mean, I I, don't I, know I, that I, is, I know what pool is, but snooker. Yeah, I, I, don't I know about know. pool and billiards. Yeah. S N zero zero zero. Jesus. Oh, so zero apparently, zero. Apparently, <laughs> apparently snook, snooker is played on a rectangular table. Um. Well, there's different has, rules. Does it have holes around it? So it says snooker is a cue sport played on a rectangular table covered. Uh, with a green cloth with six pockets, one at each corner, one in the middle. First played by British Army officers. Mm. Uh, the game is played with 20, 22 balls, uh, mm. comprising a cue ball, 15 red balls, and six other. Right, so it is different. Yeah, because pool is when you have, uh, uh, isn't it? Smalls and smalls and bigs, right? That's what they're called. Smalls and bigs? I've always known it to be reds and yellows, but. No, I said pool, not, not yeah. snooker. That's why I'm getting really confused now, because pool to me is reds and yellows, while snooker is when you do, um... Okay, so uh, I think I think you 
So this is what it says on Wikipedia, that snooker is 15 red balls and six other balls. I'm gonna be honest with you, Frankie. I'm actually gonna be the guy Wikipedia. that says maybe you should trust exactly how you're reading it, because this, every snooker show I've watched, the way it works is white ball into colors and stripes into, uh, you can do like the black ball, you go back and forth and back and forth until you can, you finally part all the colors you're supposed to do. It's like, it's way more, well, yeah, cause dare I say, complicated than, uh, pool rules. But then you can also do stripes and solids for, for pool, from what I remember. Stripes yes, and solids is pool, it. isn't it? I thought that's, I thought that. Cause also, I, reds I and yellows, stripes, like stripes and solids were always solids. potentials, unless they have different names. I, so like, this is, okay. So let's find out comparison, pool versus, so what is the difference? Snooker is played with, uh, fifth man. <laughs> There's all these different. Ah, uh, th what is the difference between billiards, pool, and snooker? Billiards is, I I don't know. I don't know. It was really confusing for me because, funnily enough, it was. I don't know if anyone knows the show Hyperdrive with Nick Frost, but I used to watch a lot of snooker around the time watching that. Ow! <laughs> I accidentally pulled my mixer. Um, and yes, uh. The sport I'm referring to, the, the way it would work if you're really, really, really good at it, when you have to pot, like, uh, color black, color black, color black, sort of back and forth between all the balls until you get the whole table done, people could, like, when they're really good at the game, get, like, four of those done in one shot because of how far ahead they... That's actually what I wanted to talk about, was just um, the high-level play where they can visualize the board in a way that's, like, robotic. Because they're that good at the game at that point. But, um, I didn't... Mm -hmm. uh, okay. The problem is, I don't even, so, I wouldn't even be able to tell you what billiards is, like, I'd be, in terms of so, how it separates itself from the others. So, Wikipedia says Q Sports. There are three major subdivisions of Q Sports. Billiards, played on tables without pockets, typically 10 feet in length, including straight rail, bulk line, one cushion, come, and three cushion billiards, are artistic billiards, and four ball. Pool, played on six pocket tables of seven, eight, or nine, uh, or ten foot length. Including amongst others, eight ball, the world's most widely played Q sport, nine ball, the dominant professional game, ten ball, straight pool, um, the formerly dominant pro game, one pocket and bank pool, and then the next one is snooker, English billiards, and Russian pyramid played on a large six pocket table, all of which are classified separately from pool based on distinct development histories, player culture rules, and terminology. So all I now know is that they are different, but I still don't really know what the differences are. I'm sure, there's I think a YouTube the video that will explain in anal detail all of the differences I between I them. I think the one that I understand best is 8-Ball. That's the one that I understand yeah. best. Because I just googled snooker, and the first of all, because so like, my memories are very uh, fragmented on this one, but is it you have to pot a red and then a color, red, color, red, color, red, color, until you've gotten, and there's the most points at the end wins. I'm pretty so, sure. Okay, because the one that I'm familiar with is where one player will be going for the stripes and one player goes for the solids, and once you get all of your assigned uh, balls... I think that's pool. You... Well, apparently that's eight ball, which is a subcategory of pool. So, like, I mean, pool describes great. multiple things, and eight ball is the most widely played variant of it. Which is and which, yeah, one's, that, which one's snooker out of those, or is it not a different snooker, thing? Snooker is a different one. Snooker is um is uh categorized as different from pool. Played on a large six pocket table, uh, and their class. And then it was it was what I told you before. Snooker, according to Wikipedia, is a cue ball, fifteen red balls, and six other balls. A yellow, green, brown, blue, pink, and black, collectively called colors. Using a cue stick, the individual players or teams take turns to strike the white cue ball to pot the other balls in a predefined sequence, accumulating points for each successful pot and for each time uh, the opposing player or team commits a foul. An individual frame of snooker is won by the player who has scored the most points. That's, yeah, that... And when when yeah. you first described it, I thought what you were getting at was that it's two sides and it's first to pot their side rather than um... no it's the, no that's that's eight ball yeah that's right? you get yeah. your sides your, your solids and stripes because um i like understood snooker enough but i didn't i never wanted to play it instead of pool uh, or at least what i uh, knew to be pool, I pool. Um, um but i like watching snooker because it's impressive as fuck 
watching the people do their thing. Is, um, I'm not even sure why I said I prefer pool. I haven't really played snooker by the sounds of it. Oh, maybe I have, not I'm just not I guess remembering you, it very well. Uh, you wouldn't necessarily need to play it, I guess, if you understand, like, because you can picture doing the the with that rule set, right? It's just like, and that's kind of yeah. how I I decided. I was like, that's that rule set's cool and everything, but I I way prefer just being like, you know, you break and then you you try and figure out. What's the most advantageous with just uh, stripes versus solids or, or reds and uh, yellows? I think it's easier to grasp uh, as a game. There's I find it so. That you need I would to track of. that would be a cool life goal to have a table like that in a house someday. I don't think it's gonna happen, but it cool would be um, yeah. Well, like a proper a proper, a proper cool one, table. yeah. Because I remember we I had, had it in a, my uh, sim house, but that's <laughs> <laughs> the next best thing. I've had a uh, like a, a sort of kind of pool table but it definitely was a cheap one um yeah a big pool table would be cool it feels like a like the perfect game to just have a chat while playing a game quote unquote but it's the you know just, yeah just exactly chill. i was never very good at it but i played a decent amount of it i don't even remember if i was any good at it anymore but i just remember liking it especially with trick shots Rooties. go play it rags which which variant? Oh wait, sorry, sneaker? yeah. Uh, any of these? Do you recognize any of them? Pool, yes. Pool right. is generally what we call pool, or I guess eight ball to be more specific. Is what that's what when people say pool, that's pretty much that's what, what yeah. they're going to mean. Yeah, and I've same. played that, and I am horrifically terrible at it. Well, fair enough. I think, I think play... it's a very high skill sport because of the the hitting the using a little tip of a stick to hit a very smooth, almost perfectly round object accurately while hitting other objects to get them to bounce. There's, um, yeah, there's a lot of, you know, it, it practice required. So if you're not doing it a lot, it's kind of like snowboarding, I think, where snowboarding is, it, it requires a lot of investment and time to like learn how to ride one. Whereas you could just pick up skis and get a similar experience and it's a whole lot easier. I feel like pool is similar in that if you constantly played pool and you could invest some time in learning the technique of the hands and everything, you could get way more enjoyment, kind of like on some exponential curve, hmm. than someone who only gets to play it every once in a while and just can't develop that kind of feeling for it. I suppose if you're against people who have the same level of interaction with it, then that's going to make it yeah, that yeah, if better. you're just too, yeah, if you're just two tards just trying to smack hmm. balls with sticks and neither of you knows what to do. Yeah, that would be far well, more um, entertaining than just getting your ass beat. What was the, uh, what was the pool? We used to play a pool game, didn't we? Metal on Steam. Remember? Oh, yeah, uh, fuck, what was the name of that? Golf with your friends? No. <laughs> yeah, that's the one we played pool on. Hey, oh, it turns oh, into yeah, pool it's... if you have collision on. Okay. Uh, Except it's the opposite of pool, whereas instead of using a ball to hit another ball in the hole, you use your ball to get that other ball as far away from the hole as possible. Uh, Pool Nation. That was it. Yeah. I like Pool Nation. Pool Nation? That's Atlantis, right? And I'm pretty sure it has uh, every mode in it, like every game you want to play, which makes sense. Now, I, that was, I like that pun, Rex. It took Thank me a you. little while. But I, I like that one. Pool <laughs> Nation for the underwater people. All right. I mean, you know, I, I you want to reward it, it, that's fine. So the reason why I find it so funny is because I'm imagining the imagery of a city that is just a pool because the water is everywhere. <laughs> like, it's like oh, I thought you were going to go with like they have a pool area and it's just an indent because they're just like, that's the pool. It's like we're underwater. Yeah, that's, it's what like, yeah. Yeah. That's, what, that's what I'm talking about. It's like it's funny imagery to me. It's like you want to go swim in the pool and it's just everything. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just nothing. Spongebob it's, stuff. Yeah, it, it, exactly. It feels like a Spongebob kind of joke. Pool Nation tournament on EFAP Gaming. One day. By the way, I hate that Mario Kart track. You hate Sherbet Land? Really? I don't think I hate really? any of the tracks, but I could just be because I'm so familiar with all of them now that it's like... I, did. I really like the music in Sherbet Land. It's so chill and, do, do, and, it's, do, do, and you got all the... It's very... yeah. Yep. And the shy guys are skating around. They are. They brought that back for uh for Mario Kart uh, Eight. That's good of them. And it's just yeah, it's nice and chill. Are they planning on another one, or they're just gonna keep adding maps to that? 
Well, so it's like the the way that it's working now is this booster course pass is 48 courses released over this year and I think next year. And then presumably that's the end um, for Mario Kart 8 because Mario Kart 8 is eight years old now. Wow. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is like far and away the longest gap between uh, any Mario Kart entry. But it's kind of, it's kind of, I feel like it's hit the same place as uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. It's like, what more? You what can more can never you deliver do? This amount of, you can never deliver this amount of content from the start again. Mm. And so, um, it's like, oh, Mario Kart 9, that's cool and all, but unless it's really mechanically different, you're, you're kind of just going to be buying into a uh, less um, expansive game. And so I mm. think the next logical step is Nintendo Kart. I think they should do that. I think they should have a Nintendo crossover karting game. Makes sense, yeah. Where you get to play as, like, Mario and Link. I mean, because we already have parts of it in 8. You can play as Link, you can play as Villager... They've got mm -hmm. F-Zero courses and carts. It's like, lean hardcore into it. Have, like, a racing track on Corneria, or, um... Or, uh, you could have, like, a, um... You could, yeah, like, Corneria or Venom. Go to other places in Hyrule. Like, imagine if you had, um... That new Zelda looks like it's gonna have a bunch of places in the sky. Like, what if you set it in the Great Plain Plateau, or, like, you set it up in those sky areas? Or Wind Waker. Like, what if you actually did the Sega All-Star Transformed, and you had, like boats or some sort of water y you got options well um, why don't we go multiverse and no when you complete a track right first second and third then have to fight a smash brothers level and it, depending on where you came you got zero with first 50 with second and 100 with third that's what your starting health is you guys have to fight then to have another chance and all the losers have to go into a battle royale but with nintendo mm. And then the Don't know I... person who comes last gets booted out. And it's the most intense <laughs> Nintendo game that's ever been made. Don't know they if I make vibe a, with that idea. The well, world they could just would. make a, uh, another Super Smash Bros. with really long go-kart segments. In it. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny. Like, you, you, you fight for a little bit on a stage, and then there's a racing segment where you have to get to be the first one to get to the new stage. And the person who wins doesn't take damage, or the other people who aren't first, they like start out with damage. Something. I'm spitballing here. Isn't that just the reverse of what I said, though? Yeah, like it's a, a Smash, like a, a. As opposed to a Mario Kart game with fighting, it's like a Smash Brothers game with karting. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever your cart pulls up to another cart, you have to start fighting each other next to each other, like in the movies. Um. But, I mean, yeah, that, that seems like the next step is to have it be Nintendo Kart and really lean into all of the Nintendo IPs, like a Dreamland course or a, uh, yeah, like I said, like a course on Venom or something or um, one of the many, I don't know, another Hyrule one that leans more into a specific game rather than sort of a vague. It, it just seems like a, a way to go. Um I mean, it might be worthwhile if they make another, like, F-Zero game, but I don't think that's ever going to happen. They could also have had multiple monsters. They need an arc for the choreography and need to use the cool moves for the kills, solved by having three monsters, three unique kills. The Wong sword move is trash. Oh, I mean, I don't disagree. I, I find it frustrating whenever they all don't use their most powerful abilities. Mm-hmm. Um, it feels like the films have to ignore them. But, like, Endgame has shown the size. Infinity War showed the potential with the arm getting cut off. It's, it's done. You've already ruined it. Yeah. Two cool moments now mean that everyone else has to account for those cool moments. Yeah. And nobody will. I'll be honest. Has everyone forgot? No one cares. Everybody forgot, and he, he, he might not have watched Infinity War. <laughs> I watched any of it. I wonder how well, many fucking Marvel movies Chloe Zhao watched. I, I mean, yeah, you, but I, I don't know, man. Like, come on. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Once again, the Toxic Brood have gathered to befoul the noble works of Disney. <coughs> hey, Rags, Mola, Fringy, Metal, Gary, and me. Hello. Oh, hi. An extra five to express my disdain for the conversation demeaning Spider-Man in this film. The film that just saved their entire brand. Fuck them. I don't think you need to interpret it as, like, 
Whoa, I got stuck upside down for a second there. That's never happened to me in this game before. Wow, <laughs> I just saw that. That's never happened to me ever. How that happened? Did it again, Mewtwo. Oh. Did it again. Also, eighth. Nice. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> um, out of how many? Yeah, when they say like two, nice. two webs come out of his oh. butt, <laughs> no. Well, well, maybe. Oh my god. I don't see that as making fun of Spider Man. It's just lame. It's just really shitty jokes. Yeah. Guess it's not my humor because I'm an adult, but I, I don't know. Another five. A strange, demeaning Spider Man again in his convo with Wanda about which Avenger to choose. That was just strange of him to say. Like, why would I want my bug-themed superheroes? Yeah. yeah. What? And if you want to argue, well, he's just saying he wants the most powerful one, being her. I'd be like, well, Captain Marvel? But, okay. She's busy doing things. Well, it's just weird, right? Because, like, they've had to do this each time. They have to account for all the heroes they're not allowed to fucking contact. It's getting more and more yeah. awkward as time goes on. Unfortunately yeah. for Strange, he doesn't have the excuse that a lot of people do... Where they say, like, oh, I don't, I, the Captain Marvel, I don't even know where the fuck she is. I don't even know how to contact her. Like, that, that sort of thing. He's like, no, Doctor Strange can open portals to literally everyone, so. What's your well, excuse? Well, he can travel across the cosmos faster than she can. Exactly. And he can home in on people personally. So it's. What excuse do you have? There is none. And so instead there they say, no. guy with a bow and bug people? <laughs> It's like, yes, it's, you know, you know what, Dr. Strange, it's really easy to be a reductive asshole, but yeah. how about you maybe actually entertain these suggestions? Well, that's the thing, you can't even let that slip, because some people will be like, well, he is an asshole, and he's like, no, 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 just idiot, okay? Just an idiot. He's a fool, yeah. I'm not talking about him being, like, arrogant or something, he's just fucking not thinking straight. And he should be, because he's a smart, smart man. Once upon a time. Dr. Smart. Yeah, once upon a time. Like his first Point. movie. You know, something I forgot to bring up. Actually, hopefully I remember to bring it up on Saturday, but um, it especially annoyed me. It always annoyed me, uh, uh, Christine's reaction to Gargantos, right? And I was mm -hmm. like, I was just looking back and I was like, why is it, why is it annoying me so much? It's like, what is it about us? Uh, it, the reaction was like, oh, you, wasn't it? Or like, oh, there he goes again, Stephen Strange. It's like, man, like, people are dying. <laughs> You know? <laughs> so that, not quite, but I'm actually curious now, do you guys, what, if you think about her, why would I be especially annoyed at her reaction? If you think well, of it. Her reaction, reaction being one again. Of, yeah. So her reaction was like, rolls her eyes. Like, ugh. Oh. Um, I because mean. Because it shows like, that she's being, well, well potentially what, what this shows is, that, you go ahead, bring it. Well, I think the reason why is it's like, what do you, you know, this isn't like his fault, right? Like this, this monster just appeared. Like, what do you, what are you like rolling your eyes at here? That like Doctor Strange is doing magic stuff. Like he didn't choose for the monster to show up. It just did. It has been guessed in chat, uh, the reason. Not okay. any of the things you've said so far. Well, though, I, though, all, the, open, all the things, but... all the things you've said so far are actually like totally, I agree. Um, there was one component, and I... It was one of those things where I was like, something's annoying me, and I can't remember what it is. And then I was like, well, oh... Well, is it that it... It may... Sorry. It maybe suggests that she's annoyed from attention being taken away from her wedding? Uh, that's fair, but still no. I have no idea what it is now. Her... Yeah. Uh... I'd have to see it again, to be sure, but... Uh, well, what this will be a big clue. You wouldn't no. need to see Multiverse of Madness again. You'd need to see the first one again. I don't. Uh, let I'm, me see. Uh, I'm trying to remember uh, everything that I remember about Christine. I I just can't. I can't remember. It's just been too long, and I I don't remember. Christine is a surgeon. She's taken the Hippocratic oath as well, and she would be more aware than anybody of what kind of damage happens after any attacks in New York City take place, and what it does oh, to she's people. Oh, a doctor. Oh. She's a, specifically a surgeon. She's probably saved people's lives as a result of, like, the work that gets done. Take, for example, um, any of the events that have happened in New York City over the years. She's probably been there, sewing people back together frantically because of, like, you know, just a random detonation from whatever alien thing. So, right. there's no fucking way that she looks at an attack on, on the city and goes, Ugh. 
How annoying. Like she she would she should look horrified and then she should probably want to be like, I don't care, this is my wedding. Like people are gonna need help. I'm a, I'm a gonna help people, yeah. Ha, huh. yeah. That's a that's a good point. <laughs> Very frustrating. And it's uh, additionally frustrating because that's like a big point that the first film makes, that that informs Doctor Strange's perspective on life and death, big time, him being a surgeon. But oh well. Character assassination ever. It's, it's, uh, it happens a lot in this film where it's, there's a different purpose being run, and for that moment, it's to make a joke. They wanted to have a joke. They, they don't care if it gets in the way of anything else. Yeah. I think that's unfortunate. Yep. Thanks, monster, for stealing the thunder in my wedding. I hope that's not what she was feeling in that moment, and instead was just, like, <laughs> sighing at the fact that her husband was, like, fanboying over Doctor Strange, and that's all it was. If she's really, like, you're taking attention away from me, I'd be like, fuck me, she's just doomed as a character then. <laughs> like... <laughs> um... Yesterday marks one year since the untimely death of Kentaro Mura, creator of Berserk. He will still be missed. Um, also, EFAP reminder to read Berserk. Yeah, it's a, it often gets recommended. And um, it is a, it is a com yeah it is a very common suggestion. What do you guys think of the Steam Deck? I'm thinking of getting one since I don't have room for a PC and a monster setup. Thanks. Also, hi Rex. Hi. Um. Sounds I'm not like sure the room for it is interesting, but I'm not sure I'd recommend getting a Steam Deck like as your primary means of playing PC games. A laptop? Yeah. Would probably, if you don't like... have room, then a yeah. laptop might be the route to go instead of a Steam Deck. Because well, Steam Deck strikes me as <laughs> you travel a lot, like all the time. Are you constantly on the move at uh, at school and work and whatever? Well, like think, that, um... it's like an even more mobile version of a laptop if you need one. But, well, something that's worth keeping in mind is the Steam Deck is like the first product in this line. Yeah. Do you want your primary means of playing PC games to be something that is to some extent an experimental product? It still has a lot of uh, kinks that it needs worked out and... Yeah, and you're um, not going to get any... Version. You're not going to get a PC experience out of the Steam Deck. No, I not really. Not yeah. yeah, that's the thing. It's the worst way to play a PC. And that is balanced by the fact that it is the most mobile and portable way to play a PC. In terms yeah. of playing a lot of indie games and things like that that are easy to run, yeah, it those would be, be fine. Incredible. Absolutely, especially because yeah. you just take them shit anywhere you go. But if space is legitimately a concern and you can't actually have a desktop, um, get a laptop. I would also say double check and make sure you can't get a desktop. Desktop, maybe you're overestimating the space. But if you can't. A laptop is what I would recommend before a Steam Deck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna blow yeah. with that. Um, great Endgame video, Fringy. Oh, thanks. Hi, Rags. Hello. Dark Souls Two race when? Uh, um, we'll figure mm -hmm. something out. I do want to go back to it after a long time, just because that would be funny. Involve alcohol in some way. I don't know. Yeah. Bring in Fortier. Oh, and Theo. It would be so funny if Theo was streaming at that point and we can watch him go through Dark Souls 2. <laughs> and imagine, not played it imagine how. I'm pretty sure he fucking hates it. So. Oh, okay. Great. I think he said that's how he found my channel. Uh, nice. <laughs> which makes so much sense. Because <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you don't like DS2, my videos are perfect for you. Uh, it'll be painful, but it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. One like equals one prayer for Dragon Rider. Well, that's the thing, man. If we were to replay it, we would all be trying to get him to kill himself. <laughs> because we'd yeah. be like, free souls! I think I kind of remember how it works. I remember how you need to... I remember how it works, and you need to get, like, a... Is it bonfire aesthetics? Get... Yeah, then you can respawn him. And, and he's worth way more, and yeah, it's just the best way to start the game off. And get the the armor from that one merchant, because that gives more uh, runes. I almost said more souls, right? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Behold oh, my awesome milestone! Behold, I, I believe they're referring to the membership stuff. Thank you very much. Actually, I think um, 
Oh, hey. Didn't, didn't recently... Oh, wait, uh, how long has he been a member for? If it's too long, we're gonna ban him. Oh, fuck, yeah. Anything <laughs> over... Should we say anything over one month? That's a ban. Yeah. It's too long. The longer the membership, the more... What What's the Dooku line? The, the, what, twice the pride, double the fall? Is that what you want? Twice the membership, double the ban? Um. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, recently... I think me and Rags, at least, I don't know if you've got it as well, Fringy uh, and, and Mel, but the super thanks thing, I think, has been rolled out to yeah. way more channels now. Yeah, I got, yeah, a, so... got an email for that. I haven't checked in on it yet, though. Yeah, and I think it was I... only for yes. one of my channels. It's like offline it's super chatting, of basically. Mine, which is... Yeah. Kind of. And I won't say no to more ways to make money, but I, I wonder how it actually plays out in, you know, execution. Yeah, because... I guess if, if you're watching a video and you're like, man, that part was real good, I want to put a, a super chat in on... Because it, it, they tie to time stamps, right? Or do they just tie to videos? I think it's just I tied to videos. Oh, okay. Then but the time stamp they... would be cool. I, th I, think, I think it is legitimately just as simple as, oh, I like that video, I'll throw you a few bucks. I don't yeah, think... And then the, yeah, I think and I think the comment gets highlighted, I think, as well. I think, yeah, I think like the comment, I, 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 saw it on, cool. I saw it on a, a different channel where like somebody who had done it had the number, the amount that they'd paid like next to their comment. Oh, okay. So like they leave a comment and then it marks oh, okay. that they've given money to that video. Yeah. Well, interesting, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't activated it yet, so I, I'm, I haven't tried it. I have it on. Oh, it's, it's like, uh, I think I had it on my phone, the, the email, and then it said, like, you literally just have to press off to on. You just, and it's like a, oh. you just click a button. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Okay. <laughs> I can do that. I thought I had to do some shenanigans for that. Let's Happy see. Mother's Day, unless you wander. And hi, Rags. Hi. Um, and they got a little molar heart there. Oh, that's... Molar heart's great. Right. That's good. Why so harsh on this movie? I enjoyed it mostly. Oh. Huh. Well, I'm glad you asked. We will be spending a lot of time um, explaining just why we hated this movie. I was going to say, when they sent this in, we would have oh. been at least like three hours into explaining it. Um, and that's just the beginning. <laughs> so, strap in, folks. More explanation to come. Lord Longbong of Mirchlington Abbey. Have you given any more thought to a Kong fat? Of Peter Jackson's Long Kong? When there's Peter less Jackson's going on? Long Kong. Uh, oh, it'll be movie fat for the ages. Yes, hello, Waxy. <laughs> scritches for the good boy. Oh, hello. Thank you very much. Yeah, I think that'd be a good idea. We should do that sometime. I but, legit uh, think that. I think we had mentioned... It was me, I think, who brought it up. If we do end up doing it, then the only films that we will end up re-watching for EFAT movies will be Godzilla movies. By an incredible, weird coincidence. That's just how it's going to work We don't have to rewatch King of the Monsters. <laughs> they will be disappointed, Mahler. Will they? The people, the people... I suppose it'd be funny if we grab a whole bunch of new people and... Yeah. Yeah. Because that's the thing, EFAP's been going been long, long enough, enough now. We'll, well, that's the thing. Say. Imagine we grabbed... Like, like, Rags, would you not want to show Wish Upon to a whole bunch of new people? I would love to do that. It would be pretty funny. Wish Upon is... Yeah, and our commentary won't be the same. Because, yeah. you know, we, we've changed well, and evolved we've, and grown as... There's know, no people. reason why we can't do Lord of the Rings again. Because if we have a whole bunch of different people, like, you know, who knows what we'll talk about this time around. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah, EFAP's getting, getting to that point now, folks. We're, we're out of new films to watch. Just old and only ones we've already done. And for the reboots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we need the multiverse in EFAP. Yeah. <laughs> and your short mauler and cat rags. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that wouldn't be too bad. That's right. That's our neat. Uh. Hi, rags. Hi. Kentucky Derby is today, and it's free comic book day. Hope you made it to your local comic store and got yourself something. Oh, oh I feel like uh, comic stores don't need the the burden of having to give out free comics. <laughs> um, best girl, objectively or subjectively, Zoo, Xiling, Sylvie, or America? The best objectively, so it's... Well, so, who? America Chavez versus Sylvia, I'm pretty sure America wins. Uh, and then, I don't know, who's the last one? It's Wins Axie. in terms of, like, fighting? Um, 
Oh, I assumed like just character in terms of because like Sylvie's like a horrible person. Yeah, Sylvie is terrible. America's not great, and I hate her. But I don't know if she's not like on the same level as. Uh, yeah. I don't know who, who the third who one was. What? Well, what did well, it, it say? Well, uh, it's Zhu Ling. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce that. Uh, that's Shang Chi's uh, sister, right? Oh. I don't even remember what her character was. Yeah. Um. Who's the best out of them? I don't know. Jesus. I don't know. Bring you over Her, to go the, help the, me out. The first <laughs> I, well, I mean, she helped save the day. You know, she was a hero. But isn't she like trying to reform the criminal organization? Yeah, I was gonna say that does oh. a little bit. Well, I guess so. America wins then. Right? Because she's not evil. She doesn't. She, 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 she doesn't really have a lot of agency in that film. She doesn't make a lot of choices, really. So it almost feels a little bit unfair to the other two because they make more decisions, and thus Which, were more susceptible mm. to becoming <laughs> bad characters. Because of Marvel, the more because, the more because if you're in a Marvel film, the more choices you're presented with, the more likely it is that you become a bad character. And the film might not even recognize it. I'm gonna, yeah, yeah I just think it, for some reason, like, if I'm going with my gut, it would be probably America. I think she's probably more likely to be a very good person who's gonna help people as best she can. Yeah. She was sad when she transported her moms to a different dimension, exactly. which is like the proper response to have, which is they can fuck that up how sometimes high our bar is. In the MCU, yeah. Mm. Uh, Wings quote of the day. I consider myself a four, because I'm unhealthy. I got a cute face. But if you go by my body alone, I'm a three. So I'm slightly <laughs> below average. <laughs> I, 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 I'd love that to be real. I, I'm oh. very, I very much hope is real. Wings is such a... The gold mine of Oh, course. he's wonderful, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there is one thing that sorcery can't do. Make someone fly. Not including magical items. Uh, I guess so, yeah, not, until it fly. does. Well, because Doctor Strange doesn't fly for magic. Cape does it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And nobody else seems to fly. Yeah, you got the Mordor's booties, um, but that's yeah. not... You know, obviously the break of pull, and... even though there's no way that they would. No, yeah, that's... His, funny uh, shit his, that they try to get away with that. Snapped. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you have a, uh, yeah, you want to set up some magic rules. Like, Dragon Age got it out of the way early. Depending if, if you go to the Mage Tower uh, early on, you get to read the book in particular. But they got the three rules of magic. If you die, you ain't coming back from the dead. You cannot teleport. And I think the third was something about the Fade, which is where, which is like the Dream Realm and Mages in Dragon Age when they dream they actually are like lucid dreaming they could go into the fade and they're cognizant of everything that's there like the spirits and the demons and whatnot they're aware of it but yeah why don't they just teleport to nope cardinal rule of magic you can't teleport why can't we just bring back nope cardinal rule of magic no coming back from the dead anything that comes back it ain't that person so it's like the force and flying why can't you just lift yourself it's like eh. i just want to point it out though it's only something they can't do until the makers of these fucking things decide, fuck it, they can. Oh, yeah. Like, I could totally see Wong being like, you know, he swings his arms around a whole bunch of times, and then he, like, does an enchantment, and you're like, what did you do? And he's like, you can fly, but only temporarily. And I'd just be like, oh, okay. Like, you know if that happened <laughs> in the movie, do you think anybody would be like, what? That's ridiculous. Like, no, everyone would just be like, oh, okay, he's, well, he's a wizard, so, you know, whatever. Fly, amazing. Yeah. Wong can fly now, guys. Like, it was so cool. Oh, you guys are okay with them making portals, but not okay with them flying. And I should be like, they, what can't not they do? Not really. Portals were a mistake. <laughs> portals were a fucking mistake. I don't even disagree with you. I think if that's such a... Uh, if, if, if you were in charge of that script and they said you got to bring that in, I'd be like, do you know what this means? Do you know how importantly powerful these things are? This is no joke. It fucks with everything all the time. I can't believe they even showed him chop off the arm of that guy in Infinity War. I was like, whoa, you, you guys actually realize what it can do, and then they don't do it ever again. Oh, Damn it. Was, like, it was a good joke, but it was a mistake. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, the invited to my wedding thing, or? Well, just it, I I like that. Yeah, like it's it's cool to see Wong be super duper confident and kind of pull these tricks. But the problem is that like Portal is being able to do that is such a problem. And exactly. Like... I've already used my Portal. I gotta it really like if you just had and I don't even like them, but like these like, D and D style rules or. Or, I mean, believe Aragon had a good, even though his books got super lame, but the, the, the magic system in Aragon was super glass cannony and dangerous to the user. It required a lot of training and a lot of practice, and using magic would expend, like, your energy. And if you cast a spell that you didn't have the energy for, you would just fucking kill yourself. And there was a clear limits that were set. It's super powerful glass cannon stuff. And I don't, there's just no rules with this magic. You can just do whatever, it's, whenever um, you want. Arguably worse with the portals than it could have been because there's no requirement really for proficiency, really. Like even, you know, Ned picks it up really quick. And so does Doctor Strange, to be fair, when he's training for it. And, and someone might be like, oh, come on, he, he, has, he has to take like a few training sessions. I'd be like, it's still too quick. A few training sessions for arguably one of the most powerful possible spells with a broad reach of usefulness that is just a ubiquitously powerful spell i and what you oh. need isn't like an understanding of most powerful books of all time and loads of experience you just need the little device that everyone has like they have loads of them and then you yeah that should a... be one of those things you need a ritual for there's, there's so much to it that you need to add on to limit it but they made it a little ring that you can put on and does it surprise anybody that every time anything happens in a movie that Doctor Strange is in, it's like, why aren't you using the sling ring? Use it. And then they try and, like, desperately ignore it for all of his fights until you get to <laughs> Endgame, where it, like, it is used to its fucking maximum. Like... But they got their payoff. They got what they wanted. Now they're like, please ignore it. We done the thing. We did the thing. Just don't do it. Uh. Marvel basically said, yeah, Wanda enslaved nearly 4,000 people and got away with it, get over it. Pretty much. Um, because Pretty much. the drama of this film has got no time to deal with Westview. Fuck you, we're moving on. You've done it It'll right. Or maybe they won't, we don't care. Ted Bundy walked so Wanda Maximoff could run. To be fair, Ted <laughs> Bundy had to break out, she didn't. Yeah, she just flew away and knew that no one could ever stop her. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna leave now. Bye. Mola's commentary Bye. is so much funnier on red wine. The, I guess this person's been drinking a bit. I was about to say, yeah, I think it means they're drinking, not that I... Because I was like, I don't think I've ever think had red wine. I think it's probably, like, all commentary is probably more enjoyable on red wine. I, never was, I, I was never a red wine guy. I never. I was, I was. I like the white wines. The, the the more sweeter wines are generally my thing. I don't like those more harsh reds. Some people do, especially when they pair them up with the steaks and whatnot. But um, ne never really cared for them. Never really cared for them. Since Batwoman is cancelled, can the plot sniper come for stupid Marvel characters? Appreciate you all massively. Oh, yeah, he's you. he's out of a job. Poor guy. Bot Sniper's out of a job. Civil War, she's a kid, give me a break. This movie, she's a kid, nuh-uh. Wait. <laughs> well, because remember, Wanda says, oh no, she's like a cosmic, like, crazy entity. When, um... I guess it's just like, it's funny that Wanda got that standard applied to her by Tony, but she oh. won't grant that. Same, same courtesy to America. <laughs> it's funny because, yeah, you can cite other movies, but I would just cite the movie itself. She's saying um, America doesn't count as a child because she has the powers. And it's like, what about your kids? They have powers. What about, yeah. Like, yeah, nobody's ever gone by that metric before. Why is she? Like, and it's, it's because she's, metric. she just wants to be able to kill you. <laughs> and for some reason, this film continuously makes it so that Doctor Strange cannot argue back. It's so annoying. It's, 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 I reference it usually, but it's just like, it, it reminds me of God's Not Dead every time they fucking show the big payoffs in that movie. Yeah, and it's just like, why are you oh not God. countering the... I don't have an argument for this airtight fucking thing this you just thing said. I definitely would have thought about. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, absolutely. It's, and it's, it's like in fucking God, Captain Marvel. Gotta... Or, sorry, uh, the... It's Ethan Hawke. Yes. Oh, I'm Moon Knight, yeah. Same thing yeah. in Moon Knight. Moon Knight. Um, yeah. And this is the thing. You can have moments where characters are stumped by a thing, but you can't have this... Like, one of the smartest characters in the fucking universe. The softballs. Yeah, softballs. The kind of thing where you're like, wait, Doc Strange, why don't you just say to her... Uh, what she just said is fucking crazy, because it applies to literally all of the young people in the world that have any abilities beyond the natural. Quote unquote. And then, uh... He, instead, he's just like, but what happens now? I'm gonna fucking kill you all. And he's like, oh. Moving. I'm a bit befi nice. behind, but as far as dreams before Loki, Iron Man had tons of dreams throughout his movies where his friends all die, and there's at least one... Y yeah, dreams definitely happened before Loki happened. Mm-hmm. But whatever. As, as as the defense goes, Loki happened at all times and no times. In the sense of when Loki's events complete, it like ripples through all of time. Uh -huh. So technically speak, you know what I mean? Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Because I'm already losing interest in trying to it's, explain it. it yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a, it is very, very useful for writing. Yeah. It can be whatever you want. Yeah. Uh, the Wong trans transition had my brother laughing in the cinema. Yeah, I, I think it's, it took me off guard completely, his face being in the sky. I just, like, <laughs> I don't know, I just thought it was, yeah, distracting as hell after what was, like, a, a spooky, intimidating end of a scene. And then it's just, like, suddenly Wong's face. It's like, okay. Yeah. Uh, music fight is a neat idea. Campbell appearance is okay, otherwise movies are to shit. I was not impressed by the music fight. I don't know if I'm the only one, because, um... I mean, uh, it only... I found it odd. Yeah. Only in I the don't... sense that you're like, that looks interesting, but that's yeah. it. Well, I guess it's just that, um, for as cool as the visuals may be, it's just like, what does it mean for a magic system to recognize written music? Yeah. I don't even and think they did a particularly good job notes. with it when hand-waving that away. When saying... Who cares how it all fucking works? I don't even think they did a great job musically and visually with it. I think they did a couple of basic things. Um, well, yeah, and they involved they very few instruments. And if you want to be like, yeah, well, they were limited to what was ever on the music sheets. I'd be like, fuck off. They were using all kinds of instruments uh, in the music surrounding it. And you can do whatever you want. Why would you be limited by whatever's on the sheets? That's such a weird exactly. thing. Whatever you want, yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I remember finding parts of it awkward. Like, when he fires the second barrage of... Like, and... I guess they don't do anything, because like, they, well, they sort of just hit him, and he goes like, "Ooh," it's kind of weird. And then, and then the second barrage, he blocks with his own thing, and it's like, "Bomb, bomb, bomb!" And I just remember being like, "This is a bit cringe." I'm sorry. I don't know. I'll be right. Um, I, I've seen plenty of people say like, "Ah, oh, Raimi," and I'm always just like, "I wonder if it was Raimi. I wonder who's. It could have been anybody, for all we know." Mm-hmm. I don't know anything by Raimi that matches that. Um, and if you're just gonna go with goofy fun, I'd be like, oh, okay. I guess that just... anything that's in any... everything is his, then. I guess so. Looks well, like Miss Fantastic getting his head exploded. It's like, it's fucking, that's so Raimi. And it's like, why? It's like, well, because horror <laughs> slash comedy getting mixed, and that's what that wow. is. Wow, and it's just like, hey, so have you seen Drag Me to Hell? What's that? That's well, like my next question for most people. Yeah, but if they actually cited Drag Me to Hell as an example of how him killing Reed Richards is totally a Raimi thing to do, I'd just be like, I still don't follow, really. I don't uh, understand what the character dying is a Raimi thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even blending horror and comedy, because I just don't see the comedic element. I feel like an alien sometimes. Like, have you seen a Raimi film? It's not like it's subtle with the comedy. Or the, the, the aspect of it. it. Those fucking movies are insane. Like, they're not this cookie cutter insane. I, I feel like it's hard almost to explain it. Um, where it's like, whoa, he went through another universe. One of them is paint. Like, okay, Raimi will, like, he'll have a guy, like, fucking hack his own hand off and attach a chainsaw to it. This is not like, the same thing. Remember when all the tiny ashes try to kill Ash? Like, it, I don't detect any of that kind of shit in, uh, in Doctor Strange. Feels neutered, is what I would say. Mm -hmm. Reed's death was definitely not Raimi. That's not what I've heard from loads of people. Is that, like, it's totally a Raimi choice to do that. I, like I said, I, I don't really get it. 
but um, I don't know. I feel like his name is being used as a as a way of evading criticism to some degree. Yeah, I. Like you wouldn't want to you wouldn't want to criticize Raimi, would you? And it's just like, well, I I don't even know that. Why are we why are we just like assuming that every? I thought the whole criticism was Marvel was that they that they fuck over the people who work for their movies. Exactly. Uh. Hi, Fringy. Hey. Great job in your latest video that, in my honest opinion, is probably the best breakdown of Infinity War on YouTube. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> thanks. I mean, I probably could have talked about it more if I was going for a full breakdown of that film. Uh, but, uh, if that's what I can expect every time, I'll pre-order your book in the year 2053. Yeah, whenever the fuck it comes out. <laughs> whenever I finish it. Also, is Thanks. ACDC an Australian national treasure? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, so if I smoke bath salts and eat someone's face, does that make me responsible? Yes. Uh, it depends. Did the bath salts come with a description that said it may corrupt? Because if it did, that's your fault you read that. She didn't know, okay? It's not like uh, there was a bazillion reasons to think that book was incredibly yeah. evil. Ooh. Considering that the evil character, at least in her opinion, evil character had it, and it's a giant ashy book with all these embers flying off of it. The whole, like, it corrupts you thing, was that mentioned in WandaVision? I can't remember anymore. I can't remember either. Because I remember, that, wasn't there a thing about Agatha was, like, hoping to make Wanda a little bit more... Uh, evil. I can't remember. Wow, I think she wanted to just take her powers, right? I could have sworn there was an element of, like, she was trying to influence her to be more uh, maybe. evil or something. In maybe. Like, with the proximity to the book or something. I can't remember. Man, it's just nice. That book just bails you out of all moral culpability. Right? I mean, I just, like I said, I don't even agree that it does. It, uh, with the way that they even describe it in the movies. And the fact that she can go on an arc while under the full influence of this book, I don't understand how that works. Yeah. Just had to go where kids wouldn't be happy with her being a horrible monster. Which again is just hard for me to I just don't I don't understand like because it's like it's different than being told it. I get that. Yeah. But at the same time it's like, was this really that much of a shock to her? Wouldn't she just want to reset and be like, fine, I'll just go to a universe with, you know, these kids are done now because they've seen it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll play it smarter next time. <laughs> because Maybe I'll even remember Vision the next time, who knows. It makes me think that you want me to believe that she just had no idea that her kids would have been that disapproving of her actions. <laughs> Which is like, why? Especially if we're yeeting her actual mom around. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you scared of me? I don't know, you, you almost killed my mom. <laughs> the book controlling her is the equivalent of Bucky getting mind controlled. Not even close. Like, uh, when Bucky gets mind controlled, he's got, like, he's not even there. Uh, as in, like, you can't recognize him. He is unfortunately having to remember everything that happens. But Wanda is like, you can't even necessarily tell the difference. She's just a lot meaner. So the mm -hmm. fact that she's like still will it, like where does the value of I would like to not have to hurt anyone come from? If she's completely corrupted, like wh why is that even there? She's willing to kill everyone and everything to get to her kids, but you'd like to avoid it if possible. It's like that. What's yeah, what happening does it there? Mean to be reasonable, to believe that you're capable of being reasonable. And what am I supposed know? to draw from? I'm being reasonable when she's like forcing horrible monsters to trample through cities. What does that even mean? Yeah. So, like, yeah, I, uh... It's, it's explicit with Bucky that he is, like, puppeteered to the point where he's terrified of it ever happening again. Meanwhile, it's confusing with her. Like, what, whatever this, any of this meant. I don't even know if she's free of the Darkhold. Hmm. Because they say, like, oh, she's going to destroy it in every universe. Like, well, it was already destroyed in the one she was using it, so... Destroyed it in every universe. And does that make oh, a difference shit. to its effects on it? I don't know. Uh, I, 
felt Strange should have mentioned Peter when he trapped Wanda in the Mirrorverse. Something like, you're no Peter Parker slash Spider-Man and then walk away. I don't think. I find it cringe <laughs> that Spider-Man beat him in the Mirrorverse, so let's not remember that. <laughs> Poor Doctor Strange, man, he just can't win. No. <laughs> He gets introduced. Like, Come on, I sacrificed going. myself for five years. Can I have like one W, <laughs> please? The ancient one, it's like, hey, this ability, it puts people in a permanent prison that he definitely cannot escape. And he's like, two people have gotten out. <laughs> yeah, people lied to me. <laughs> She's like, yeah, well, you're just really bad. And he's like, oh, all right. <laughs> but geometry, more. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Geometry. That's what they said. Geometry. A friend asked me what I would choose. Spend my life married to someone who is their chronological age mentally, yet has the body of an eight-year-old that does not age, or the opposite. Your choice. I'm fucking answering that question, you kidding me? Jesus. Also, like, hi all hosts. Three? Hello. Hi. Um, and an extra hi to Rags. Oh, hello, hello. To you. Oh, and hi, Metal. Yeah, hello, I guess, and whatever. Uh, alternate Dimension Rachel McAdams said the MCU is Dimension 616, but Mysterio also said MCU is Dimension 616, and he was making that up. Hell of a coincidence. Uh, yeah. They canonized that his meme was correct. Don't know why they did that, but they did that. Hi, Energy Mutual. Hey, it's getting late. I'm getting tired, okay? Yeah. <laughs> What about all the walking armory that is War Machine? And remember, Strange and Wong could transport all the heroes to them instantly on Endgame. Dude, it's even better than that. Like, Rhodey was the one that actually uh, disabled her in Civil War. But uh, nobody wants to remember him, because he's busy doing some other TV show, probably. This crappy movie killed George. Rip, you legend. Happy movie killed a lot of people. Yeah, killed my insan- my insanity, my sanity. Um, way you sinister mugs attack folk for liking a movie, yellow flash and mauler bullying kids on Twitter, losers Marvel make bank and you lot depressed. Bully people on Twitter? When do I do that? I'm bullying people on Twitter. I yet? just put Pepe memes, I don't know if that counts as bullying. Yeah. But if it does, I mean, rip. Um, I mean Two memes today on Twitter. And listen, like... if Yellow Flash thinks this is a bad movie, then good for him. <laughs> <laughs> High five. As for uh, attacking people for liking a movie, oh gosh. You bet your ass. I don't know, I just, I, it's just so cringy. It's just like, why, why, why can't I just say you're attacking me for disliking it? And then we can just yeah. play this game forever. Yeah. Um, But thank you for the super chat, of course. Thank you, yes. Remember when Loki used his staff to mind control everyone and it was horrible, but now Wanda does it to a whole town and no one cares? Also, hello, Rags. Hi. Hello. Literally, well, when, um, when Hawkeye... Loki hadn't gotten his own show yet, where they had to make him a good guy, actually. <laughs> when he did the mind control to Hawkeye, they made a huge deal out of it to the point where Hawkeye said it felt like Someone reaching inside and just playing, and uh, he fucking hated Loki after that. Perfect. That's exactly how you'd expect it to go if someone uses mind control on you. Um, you don't care about the citizens of Westview. They're done. They're in the fucking... They're not even in the back seat. They're not even in the boot. They got kicked out of the car. They're done. They're on the road. And it sucks. But, um... The writing can't stop to appreciate anything. Uh... Because we, we talk about all the people in Westview who have been ignored. It's like, dude, what about all the people in the world who are ignored as a result of the blip? Like, in terms of the damage that did. None of these films want to go over it. Oh man, the hearts don't prevent the blue shot. Cool if it did. Yeah. I haven't heard anybody address that Wanda can just make a hex and recreate her kids and vision on Earth. There was nothing special in Westview that means she can't do it again without slavery. Hi, Rex. Hi. Um, well, we've, uh, suggested that and adoption and, I don't know, having a kid? I don't think at any point in this show they've said she's barren or anything. So, 
If she really, 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 really wants to do that, I'd prefer that that's what she do instead of kill people. I don't know if you guys agree. I don't know, man. That sounds... I mean, what about adoption? No. Well, that was one of my suggestions, yeah. <laughs> well... As long as she makes things right. <laughs> Thank goodness. At the end, she makes it all right. Makes as long as she did the right, right thing. Whatever that is. Um, is Star Trek even worth getting into now? Well, no. I mean, the well, old the stuff. Well, the old stuff. Yeah. You know, however many Star Wars films they'll release, the OT is still cool. Go watch it. Yeah. Hawkeye would be furious at Wanda. It, it, no, Hawkeye doesn't exist in this universe until he has his own show where he gets to exist temporarily, but outside of every other event. <laughs> um, even mm. Futurama comes up with a multiverse explanation. So there's an infinite number of universes, not just the one. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, no. They say an, uh, no, just the one. Well, I'm confused. I can't even remember what, um, how Futurama dealt with multiverse, but Futurama isn't even, like, as grounded in any way, shape, or form as the MCU likes to try and be. Um, but it probably is actually more grounded, though. I believe it. Um, why do you call it oven when you of in the cold food and out uh, eat the food? That was too many words. What? <laughs> I don't think it's the amount of words. It's their combination and structuring. Um, yeah, that's fair. When... What? I'll, I'll try again. I don't know sure. if it's going to work. Why do they call it an, right. of, an oven when you of in the cold food and of out hot eat the food? I don't know why your... Um, I guess your description of an oven would... I don't know why that would change anything. What about the way you describe the oven would change what we would call the oven or make it seem strange? I haven't Googled to check out. oven etymology, but I'm sure it makes a lot of sense. Well, I can do that. Uh, let's take a look. Oh. Also, high ranks. Hi. Um... Why do they call it oven? Uh, oh, refers to a nonsensical copy pasta reading. Why do they call it oven when you of in the cold food of out hot eat the food? Apparently, it's a meme. <laughs> uh, oh, well, that's fine. I just I was curious about. Yeah. Um, Why do they call it? Yeah, it looks, looks like it's a. Uh, um. It is. It became associated with an edited Garfield strip with John Arbuckle saying the phrase. Causing it to be associated with the comic. Mm. Um, so this is the, of course, the origin of the meme. This gentleman in 2013 said, why do they call it oven when you of in the cold food of out hot eat the food? Uh-huh. Yeah. I didn't, like I said, I wasn't looking for the origin of why someone would say that. I just meant why they call it an oven, because I don't actually know. Oh, oven, uh, yeah, etymology comes from the Old English oven, mm. and that, I suppose, sir, from an Indo-European root shared by Greek hypnos. So, yeah, Old English oven of Germanic origin related to Dutch oven, though Dutch ovens are different here. Um, if you call something a Dutch oven, that's different than mm -hmm. what you would normally call an oven. Uh, do you know about the Dutch ovens? And we have the German oven from an Indo-European root shared by Greek hypnos. Yeah. Um, well, that was the last super chat from the multiverse catch-up. Oh, wow. That was fun. And um, we're close enough to four hours that I will um, probably knock it off there because I actually have to get up super early tomorrow morning. Uh, oh man, what a great timing because I was about to say I'm going to go to sleep, but hey! Perfect! Good job. Good job. I'm proud of you, Mufle. You did well. Thank you so much. Well, so today's ones, I'll grab them up and then we will be able to just knock out them with last week's catch-up ones in the next catch-up. Um, Believe it or not, we are actually getting closer and closer to completing the Super Chat catch-up. 
in totality, because uh, myself, Raganatus, and Fringolio have been doing some extra bits behind uh, Slim Flams. So you'll, you'll end up getting some that upload on Moola that don't have chat in them, and that's how you'll know they're the, the offline ones, basically. They'll be labeled as such, so no worries. They will be titled uh, to reference what exactly is being responded to. But yes, the uh, the next thing to happen on good old uh, EFAP is to see us on Saturday. We have the cast back, and I think this time we should be able to go for a, a longer than five hours even. Because uh, we, got, we got people with, with schedules trying to open up a bit more because we can get through the rest of Doctor Strange Multiverse of Man. It's going to be great. Um, yeah, I guess other than that, I suppose, uh, I'll say that's, that's such agenda. You guys want to see? Uh, no, I'm, I'm excited much. to talk no. about, uh, multi strange madness verse again. Mm. Uh, there's a lot of things to discuss. It's going to be very fun and frustrating explaining why we feel the way we feel about this amazing phlegm. Mm. For that, I'm doing a Metals Forge on Friday with Meme Repository about Under the Red Hood. Go check that out. It's going to be fun. Do it. I, rem I actually saw that one. I liked it. That's one where John yeah. DiMaggio is the voice of Joker. Yeah. Yeah, well, I watched Joker it a, a, a while ago. I remember it being pretty pretty ne neat. So neat. I'm, I'm hopeful to have something good to watch before Saturday arrives. Um... Well, alrighty then. Thank you all so much for watching and uh, for the donations and, and this company. God damn it, not again. Don't worry, these will all be read out. Uh, they're just they're just in a little order. That's all right. Uh, we will we will catch you guys on Saturday. For more nonsense. Until then, have a good night and uh, goodbye. Yeah. Good bye. night, everyone. We'll see you bye, later. Bye 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 bye. Ding ding, ma ding ding.